What's up? H. Dizzle here, and you're listening to The Men's View. We're pumping out radio at 1,000 horsepower. This is the show that helps you pass time till you pass away. I'm here sitting in with my boy, Bonafide Hustler. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up? Bonafide Hustler is here. And sitting in this week, we got... The man who's about to get a surprise gift from our listeners. I'm so fucking excited. I, I'm so fucking excited. Hello, hello, everybody. What, what's I the catch know. line on this guy today? I that. I Kills that. fishes I don't know. for a living. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Come one. on, man. We, we gotta get a that better one. one, man. Oh, that's all good. No, I like what he said. Just the guy that's about to get a fucking flashlight. Yeah, I'm really. Happy oh, you about ruined that. it, man. Ah, oh, oh, you ruined the surprise, hey, dang, damn. damn, man. You gotta be watching the show. But it's all right. We got a surprise guest right here, back in by popular demand. Oh man, this man is sporting a. Woo! How big was his penis? Pretty fucking big, dude. Yeah, who, I, I who saw his penis? That's why he came on originally. But Paul yeah. Aconda. That's why we got Howdy. him back. That's why he needs to get that mic, man. man. How's it going? And producer CMFK. What's up, producer? <laughs> he always does the same thing. What Spe- up? What speaking up? of what producer up? CMFK, man, he does what the up? dumbest thing. What's that? He did it again this weekend. I'm worried for the kid because he, he doesn't tell me he's doing this. And then I, I just showed up to his house randomly. Is the it other cocaine? Day. Which is mm-hmm. <laughs> is it cocaine? Is it meth? Is it really annoying when I show up at your house unannounced? Yeah. Is it? Okay. Because mm. I could catch you doing something like sleeping on your couch, right? Which is basically what he's always doing when I show up. In so then what's the high? Complete that darkness. Dumb, dude? <laughs> huh? And he's in complete darkness laying on his couch every time I come in. I thought maybe he'd be worried like I might catch him doing some weird <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to induce melatonin to sleep or something. <laughs> yeah. That's how you do it. But no, he, here's what's going on with him, man. I, I show up at his house the other day, and he's uh, he's on his, his motorcycle headed out. Yeah. And you know how I'm about motorcycles, right? Like, I, I just feel like it, they're so dangerous. At some point, if you, if you keep riding them, some shit's going to go wrong. It's just guaranteed. Life is dangerous. But this guy. It, I can understand where you're coming from. So I, I, I'm such a pussy. I don't support it, but I kind of understand yeah. it sometimes. So I don't even ride around town anymore. I sold my motorcycle. I was done with that, right? I don't want to die of some horrible accident with my bones broken. But it's not because of that. It's called you di- you uh, sold it because you just weren't riding it. No, that's not true. And you didn't have true. friends to ride it with. No, I'd ride it every day. I'd be with Batman and that whole crew every single day riding it. That, that was like something I loved so much was motorcycles. And then... In one weekend, this guy, we, we, we're riding in a group, and I left, and that group kept going on. I found out the next day, he takes a curve too fast and flies through like the, the it's, a, it's a countryside, right? So everyone thinks you're safe. There's no cars. Right. He just flies off into the grass, and at like 80 miles an hour, his body hits like a, a, a fence post, and he splits in half. So oh. that happens. Jesus. But that's rider error. That's- okay. And then the next day, it's like a father and son just get T-bone on, on Westheimer in Houston. At what time of the day? This was just a regular daytime thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But what, what, what really stopped me riding motorcycles is, is one day I'm just riding down Houston, and I, I'd do stupid shit. I'd be going like 120, 130, like on the average, you know? So I'm zooming down I-10 because it's like a straightaway, and I, I see something just like blurred to my side. I'm like, what, what, what did I just see? Like it's something... Some weird, like, shadowy kind of shape, right? So the next day, I just, taking the same route, and I'm in my car. I'm, like, going to regular speed. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, let me see. It was in this lane. I look down. It's a pothole, like, four feet by, like, seven feet, and it's just deep. Four and feet it, by seven feet. It was <laughs> a, <laughs> <That's> a <laughs> big-ass fucking <laughs> pothole. You know, right I'm there. exaggerating a little. I'd say it was about the size of two or three baseball. Uh, basketball, sorry, okay. basketball. So okay. it was a big to where my whole tire would have gone in. And probably I would have gone down and just flown head first into some concrete. That's, that's uh, it. Hmm. Uh, okay. And I said, okay, something is going to happen, the timeline, if it's long enough. So anyways, going back to CMFK, he, he rides this motorcycle to Mexico. Yeah, but it's a really cool motorcycle. Sure. I, it could it's be. It's an a, adventure class motorcycle. So okay. it, it's built to do distances and be safe and take obstacles but they have flat tires every now and then batteries die right right okay do you want to be good and didn't, didn't didn't you get a flat tire Yeah. and how do you deal with that being in the middle of like you almost to mexico off, you fix it, and you, then you get back on your bike and start riding again. What, what is it a patch kit 
hole. Yeah, but there's some, sometimes you just can't patch like a hole, right? Always. I mean, if the hole's not right. Big. So you just got lucky this time. But like, what what happens if you're all alone halfway to Mexico and, and now your your tire bursts and you can't fix it and there's nobody around? I've taken that trip. So you have AAA. Yeah. AAA is will come to you in Mexico. They'll come whenever I need them to. Damn. But what if your cell signal doesn't work? Which it doesn't on yeah. down almost right. that <laughs> entire area. Okay. Well, okay. My, I must have. Is it a Spotify where you download all the music to your phone first? <laughs> I think because I looked at his phone and he had like a thousand tracks downloaded. I'm That's like, all mine. Yeah, I said, he follows what, one of my lists. That's why. I said, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Well, why would you download and fill up your phone and slow it down when you're always on it's for that stretch of map. highway to Mexico that doesn't have any <laughs> signal? <laughs> He's gonna be listening to Spotify yeah. after he wrecks and he, he can't get any signal. He's like, oh, Spotify is working. What's going on? <laughs> Well, how about we talk about the reason why you're going to Mexico? It's because my chick, dude. It's okay. Love. <laughs> oh, when? Oh, CMFK, no. CMFK, what is, what is love? Policonda <laughs> seems like he wants to say. No, it's, it's called the stinky pinky. What the fuck does that mean, Policonda? Wait, what is a stinky pinky yeah, anyway? Okay, please tell me it involves butts. Why would uh, you like that? Your, your finger wet and stinky. Oh, oh that kind of stinky. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. But yeah, no... Here's what happens with that girl. He goes down there, and 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 CMFK. I, I I don't know CMFK. Do you mind talking about like when was the last time you actually had like real sex, like where you were having sex? No, I don't talk about that. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Let's just say <laughs> it's the been, man alone. It's been quite a while, right? Oh, yeah. So so like you go down to see this girl, and you don't even try to do anything to have sex with her. I, I'm 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 kind of lost. Like what's going on, man? Was, I think there's a level of intimacy that you'll never understand, Dizzle. <laughs> that, that's the thing. Oh, that's weird, oh, too, man. That's See, weird too, clarification. Yeah. There we go. But, but you have been to, like, motels and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, but the, the reason I'm getting saying all this is because he, he is really pent up sexually, I think. I would hope <laughs> at this point. Okay. And now he has this chance <laughs> where his girl's going to like University of Arizona for like a month. Okay. And all he's got to go is d- go visit her with like a really cheap flight. And now he's got her alone away from her parents. Right. And he can have all the sex he wants with this girl. Okay. But he's too lazy. <laughs> to get oh, no. So maybe that's why. Well, are okay. you waiting till marriage? Is that kind of a thing? Okay. Maybe it's like the the TV on the ground. It's like, it'll be sick one day. <laughs> <laughs> when it's finally there, it'll hey, it'll man. be happening. Yeah, this wedding's been trying to happen for a couple years now. It but just, it probably will happen this year. I oh. hope so. But it was probably going to will happen last year. Yeah, but sometimes distance, you have to like, I don't know. Yeah, not, but see, a no, lot of times it doesn't just work right out all the time, especially when you have the, that much distance. It, I've been in a long-term relationship because that was my wife. What were you saying, Will? No, I'm like, saying long term or long no, distance? Long distance. Oh, you long said long term. Also yeah, long term. Yeah, and long term. Oh, no. <laughs> but like. Long term's uh, like old people saying. To, to make those long term relationships work, you got to be talking at least once a day. That's yeah. what if they do. Not on the phone, some kind of contact, email. Skype sex. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the Never longest mind. stretch you'd go without talking to this girl? Three days, Three days is a lot. Even if you're just yeah. living with the person, you know, that's when you're living with the person, you see them. So that's the contact. But three, four days. I mean, do do you know this girl like really well, like to well <laughs> enough where you think you can marry her? I asked her to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I sometimes. Don't, I don't know what that means. So we're going to subsidize. We'll subsidize the flight over there. But you have to report every time you have sex, you have to text Dizzle. <laughs> Send like, him just a fucking had it. amateur just had porno because I think that's what just he actually had wants. It. Like every hour, it's going to be like, every 15 minutes, just had it. Just had it. <laughs> <laughs> just had but it. But that's the thing. I don't see. <laughs> you just said you're not gonna even going to go visit this girl when she's in Arizona. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Probably not. I mean, it's a w- Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? give me s- time to do other shit. What do you mean to do other shit? She's going to be busy, man. I don't want to. Not every oh. hour of every day. But she is going to be learning. Oh. And she'll probably have to study and I retain stuff. Busy. Well, here, here's what happened like New Year's and Christmas. Like, 
We'll let the YouTube audience say what he should do. Yeah, comment comment our video <laughs> <laughs> if, if you, you know, think what he should do. And see him if K will look at it and uh, give him some advice. He'll ignore it completely. No, he might look at it. He knows what YouTube is. Yeah, but he's <laughs> not going to follow any advice. You never know. Why not? I think it, what that'd if an be actual, a cool interaction yeah. right there. See? Your book yeah. is still, the, your book you wrote, flip yeah. that shit, it's still sitting on his desk. He hadn't even looked at it. But oh. he won't let me borrow it because he'll get, to, I'm going to read wow, it one really? day. He's like, I'm going to read it one day. He's like, Damn. one day he'll look at it. Just like that TV sitting there on the floor still si How the fuck do you have <laughs> a fucking 65-inch? No, 70. Four, 70 fucking inches? Wait, this, how, how big is this? You thing? got a 70-inch 4K TV with 3D option, and it's been sitting there doing nothing but gathering Jeez. dust. I don't nice. understand this. He's going to get to it one day. He's a patient. He's this is a really patient guy, dude. Hey. No, it's not. That's hey. your excuse. I like it. Dude, but he, I'm just pointing oh out. God. I'm pointing out some some things that I'm seeing over and over again. Like, it just continues on. Where I'm glad you think about it more. Than <laughs> if a robber comes over, he'll be like, "Well, fuck! I don't have to just like take it off the wall. <laughs> Nothing. This bitch is like ready to go. I like, can't even carry it out though. It's like 500 pounds, right?" No, yeah. like, hey, man, you have one of those, like, crawler things. You know how, like, the oil people get under your car? Yeah. They're going to be like, you mind if we just come in here with the crawler thing and wheel your TV out? <laughs> All right, it's cool. <laughs> well, he's got tools everywhere, too, so it's easy. <laughs> All and I know is that CMFK, I think, has superhuman levels of willpower. That's it. He doesn't need it. He can wait. So it doesn't like matter. Chuck, he's That's, like a Chuck Norris I, with I the I think sex he does. Chuck. I don't understand this because I'll tell you what. When I was dating long distance with my wife, right. that's all that would go through my mind was sex. Send me naked pictures. Let's talk dirty on the phone. Dang. And then I would take a 22-hour bus drive to go see her just to have sex. So wait a minute. You had a dirty phone <laughs> back then? Let's go sit through that clock. What's that? You had a dirty phone back then? No. I didn't have a dirty so phone. You had, oh, it wasn't oh. Polaconda dirty. Oh. Really? <laughs> you still have that dirty-ass phone? Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah. The dirtiest, the dirtiest phone in the whole world? For our listeners who haven't seen the original Polyconda show, he, he has this phone. <laughs> and I don't know where he gets these pictures if he's talking to women. On, you're actually taking these pictures, right? I take them and some women send them to me. They're kind of gross pictures. Yeah, they are the... Okay. It's not the just a girl the dirty, silhouette It's the dirtiest anything. phone on the world. It's, it's the most you disgusting phone. You shouldn't touch phone. it. You yeah, might get catch That's something on the yeah. phone. Because these pictures aren't even like an attractive woman like posing somewhere in, in like a silhouette and like showing her boobs. It is close up like <laughs> of the taint, asshole. <laughs> yep. Like you see like uh, the You're last one he pulled out. Check this one out. And it, it, was, <laughs> it was just like hair meshed into some kind of f sticky fluid. Uh, oh. It was absolutely repulsive. Man. You were jealous. Uh. That's all. <laughs> Do you have it? Yeah, where is this nasty-ass phone right now? Do you have it? I have it. Where what, is did, it? Like did it you, you lose that one? No. You well, lost, lost the original one, but... Yeah, so I this is a new one. phone. Yeah. And how long does it take you to fill up with these pictures? iCloud, baby. I got it back, but... Oh, oh my shit. God. Technology it's helping them. Cloud. Well, cloud is, that cloud, cloud is like, yeah, because it's the sickest phone, cloud dude. in the entire cloud. That's disgusting. It's a black cloud, man. It's just a cloud that's like... It's like greasy, dripping with like some kind of green-ass scum. It doesn't even rain out of it. I new ones lately, though. Jizzes. I know my new girl, you know. But you have the nasty phone with you? Yeah. Where, Where is, is it? it at? It's in my car. Go get Go it. Go get it, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's so proud of that phone. Oh, he joke, wants man. us to see it. God damn. I don't uh, know, yeah, I think, well, honestly, it's the dirtiest phone I've ever seen. Yeah. I, you can tell, like, he, he has those pictures, not for his own enjoyment, but to show people. You think so? You yeah. Don't think he, Let me I ask think CMFK. He gets off of those CMFK, you've too. known Polyconda a while, right? So how do you know about it then? So, so he shows pictures? everybody at work. Uh, there's recordings, like not just pictures, though. Record like videos. <laughs> videos. Uh, uh, I haven't seen a video. Recording, so audio, just yeah. audio yeah. recordings. So it's so Paul Con. It's like takes his fucking phone. Go ahead. There's no telling what I busted the chubby to, like. Oh, so you get off to this shit too? No, I mean, so you're going to work and you look at Paul Conda's phone and you start get busting. A boner. You get right, a boner. You get a boner. All because right. of he's like, hey, push his play on his shit and it's on the, you know, the, the Bluetooth stereo <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the minivan and we're cruising down the road and it's like, oh, oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> I can just imagine Paul coming kind of like, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, putting on the fucking oh, dude. record button, wait, we need putting it at the bedside. <laughs> we need a stereo. So does get, he going, show man. it to just <laughs> hey, you man, or yo, pretty yo, much yo, anybody who look? Yeah. Damn, dude, that's fucking nasty. Like, you don't want to hear that in the morning. Us and our prof- profession, we're all kind of like like a brotherhood. So. Oh, so you listen to each other get off. There's that phone of his. <laughs> I'm not touching it, man. Oh, you got an iPhone that thing. Now. It's got fucking gist stains on it. <laughs> uh, Look at that case, man. Uh, he whips that thing out that in thing front of a woman. Do you, mind, you do you have, mind if I if you I You got to have one of those if you have this phone. Uh, the humidity, uh, the humidity has like changed in the room already. Oh, jeez. The phone is emitting grimy. like sweat. Everything That's in his nasty, phone is just dude. sexual stuff. Like even the cartoons, the comics, it's uh, all just sex, all right, sex, sex. real quick. Dirtiest picture in the whole phone. We'll show, pass it around real quick, yeah. and then we'll make a rating. Like I don't one through you, ten. Dude. Okay, show one that you've taken. Yeah, that you've taken, but just give us the you dirtiest. You don't have to tell us who it is. Yeah. Just show us the one you, you're most proud of. Which one do you whip out at work and show your boss? Do you still have that recording deal that you to? Oh my gosh. No, I do not have it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the clock, I didn't want Psycho Girl to go off on me. Wait, what is the recording? Ask CMLK. He knows. Uh, Yikes, man. It's about three minutes. Three minutes of hardcore sexing. Ah, that's still... I, I don't know. I feel like some things are... I mean, it's funny. Uh, what, were you doing it because it was funny or ironically? Like, why did you have to show your coworkers your sex sounds? That's my boy right there. That's your boy, but... All right, but let's, what, let's see this end? picture. Take the dirtiest one you got, man. Dirtiest picture. Here we go. Here we go. One through ten. I wanna, I wanna recoil in disgust. I wanna cringe. How many pictures are you sorting through? <laughs> All right, I got quite a, I got All right. quite a few. Do I get it first? Yeah, bona fide. Yeah. Check right. it out. Careful, Gary. Don't, don't just Careful. use your fingertips. Don't fucking touch it. Yeah, right. I need some Purell. Uh, look at this white state. What are those white splotches on that screen? Okay, dude? I don't really know what's going on, but I can already tell it's pretty well, sick. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's me in my cowboy gear, and I got a rope. Yes, that is a rope in my hand. Wait a second. I got to look at Policana naked. See, I don't quite understand what's going on, so I'm gonna have to rate. I go. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm I'm doing three Talk right now. Talking the mic, man. Nobody what hears you. What the it. fuck is going on there? Okay. Let me see this. <laughs> I give it a three because I don't even know what's going on. Everyone looks like they're fully okay, close video to quality I give it a one. Horrible. Actually, this is you with a sheep or something. No. Oh yeah. Is that what it was? Was that a sheep? Okay, what is going on in this picture? This Can is you? not a sexual picture. Get out of here, man. <laughs> uh, not, yeah, show us it. one of your nasty pictures you take of these women. <laughs> oh, man. What was that picture anyway? Of yeah, yeah. What were you doing? Nah, we were working cows. We were castrating them. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Oh, oh. That's pretty nasty. Well, I was at one because I didn't know what was going on. Wait, so but, you, but you were get, were, you were getting off to it. That's why it was sexual. What the fuck is that in your you phone? You notice all these <laughs> pictures he has in his phone? It's like, you know how you're all proud of shit you do in your life? And yeah. You keep certain pictures, you whip it out like, hey, this is the trip. We went mountain biking. This is. Yeah. He's so proud this of this, guy. pulling, the, the, castrating these cows. That's fun stuff. <laughs> Jeez. What's so fun about castrating a cow? What's the funnest part? The funnest part? Yeah. You got, con- you got control over it. Oh, oh! So it's a domination thing. It is a domination. So oh. it's it's more of a power uh, thing for you. So you just cut them off so. and then you let them go, right? We cut them off and put them in the cooler to uh, eat them later. Uh, oh, we discussed this on that one yeah, show. Yeah, that was that's I'm still feeling weird Shit's about good, that. Isn't it? Do you not have any pictures oh. in that phone? Uh, no, I got rid of them off my new girl. I got. Uh, uh, give us one picture. There's got to be one bad one. Ah, I don't know if I have any more. Oh, Paul kind of really? he got in love and his he, that his, cloud just collapsed right there. <laughs> <laughs> Glad, dude. Someone took, fucking took pure. They took that, that shit. server offline when they. You know, those hackers are like it. hacking all these like uh, celebrities. You know, <laughs> yeah. They finally get to his, and they're like, they what retire. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, what right. the fuck is? Shut this? it down, boys. <laughs> this is over. All right, anonymous. They're, we're disbanding. <laughs> <laughs> their computers start smoking. Like, oh fuck, dude! This shit's got viruses all over it. This man should have never tapped into this phone. Single-handedly takes down. I, but I almost could have got a video the other day. Oh, God. Ah, See, you, you know what bothers me about Paul Conda here? It's all this almost stuff. All his sex stories. I, I'm feeling bad for the guy. It really bothered me because you're with this girl, right? Oh, yeah. And you have this quest with her, which is just to get laid. But, Every day. But you're never getting laid from her. No, I am. Very rarely, right? No. You have to beg for it. I beg for it every, twice a day. You and know. you're actually getting it now. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, nice. Okay, no, yeah, because before she was holding out, right? Yeah. Wait, why would she hold out? Well, our relationship has progressed up more towards uh Hold on, hold on. We got our weatherman calling in. No connect, way. connect. Frankie McDonald is on the line. Bring it on the screen, man. All right, Frankie. We got Frankie McDonald on the line. And for our listeners out there who probably do or don't know about him, he has a YouTube channel, and he's been doing um, – weather forecast here for a few years but recently he's got a lot of attention to him and he's become pretty famous on the internet right now right so you're you're in sydney nova scotia right frankie yes so so how did you get discovered is it just been recent or how long have you been trying to crack into the uh, weather forecasting business or how did it start i uh, when i was a little boy i wanted to be a weatherman when i grow up I started making YouTube videos in 2007 as scenery. Oh I did a very on December 27, 2007. Then on December 16, 2009, I did the very first video of myself. So wow. 2009 was the first video of that where you actually came on, right? Yeah. But now, now, Frankie McDonald, real quick, let me interrupt. Um, I have a YouTube channel as well, and you know I don't have near as many subscribers as you do. Um, how can people out there connect with you on YouTube that are just listening to this podcast for the very first time? How can they because, find you on YouTube? Because they like me and I have good enthusiasm. Okay. And you have a good enthusiasm. So your channel is called Dogs and Wolves. Is that it? Yes. Dogs and Wolves. So if you go to YouTube and type in Dogs and Wolves, you'll find Frankie's yes. channel. He's got tons of uh, weather forecasts and uh, actually what's going on. So go ahead, Diz. So, so Frankie, like when you first started getting popular, when when do you think this was that it happened? Severe earthquake warning for California, in September 2010 video. Oh man! Oh, so that's when that that was when you got a lot of traction. A lot of people started watching that one. Yes. Wow, man! It seems it seems like you're able to remember like days and dates and places and names almost immediately. Do you have that special kind of skill? Yes, yeah. and I study the weather models and I go on AccurateWeather.com. I find the latest weather updates. If it's a storm headed for anywhere in Canada and the States, I warn people to get them prepared. Same with massive heat wave headed for Australia oh, during the summertime in January and February. In July, in, in the summer months, when it was a major heat wave headed for the States or a hurricane, I warn people to get them prepared. So where do you get your information for your uh, reports? I study the weather models and I go on AccuWeather.com. So you're you're actually like a really good forecaster, right? You're not just taking like other weather forecasts from other newsmen and just repeating it. You're actually coming up with these models. Yes. That's, That's amazing. Phenomenal. How old are you now, Frankie? 30 years old. 30 years old. You started your channel back in 07, but your first video got traction. Um, my, I started Dogs and Wolf channel on June 13, 2011. 2000, okay, okay, so 2011. Okay, so that's when you actually got to YouTube, yes or no? And my first YouTube channel was Flank99 on oh. December 27, 2007. I did a video of the scenery. Okay, so how long did it take Dogs and Wolves to get some traction? Was it immediately a success? Yes, it was immediately a success. And I got I did a lot of videos. Yeah, I love your videos. Man, like your videos Hurricane are awesome. Like Hurricane hit New Orleans, Louisiana on August 29, 2012. And Hurricane Sandy to hit. Oh yeah, Sandy. And then, on uh, to hit New York on October 30th, 2012. Hey, you know, and a, I and was a massive blizzard, major blizzard to hit Minnesota in late February 2012. I, I'm telling you, this guy has like one of those genius abilities in a very like fine area. Right. I, I, yes. I bet you, I I can give him something. I I've lived through that. I probably don't know. So there was a hurricane that I lived through in Houston, and it came through Louisiana, and uh, it was Katrina. Do you remember the date for Hurricane Katrina? August 29th, 2005. Wow. Oh I'm telling you, there was a girl like this mm -hmm. back when I was a kid in, in, in elementary, in high school. When I first moved from India, she was in my art class. Her name was Fran. Mm -hmm. and, and, Frankie, you have autism, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Fran had autism as well, and... I told her my name once, right, in this art class. Right. And I just, I know the teachers would always say, like, she has this uncanny ability to remember names. So I just, that stuck through me, right? And I graduate college, and I look completely different at this point. I'd only seen this girl for a couple of weeks in my art class. Right. And I, and I see her, like, 20 years later, right, at a grocery store, and she's with her dad walking around, older woman, you know, and I'm, 
I look completely different. I say, hey, friend, remember me? When's my birthday? She's like, Dizzle, um, October 9th, 1970. Like immediately, not even a pause. That's amazing. It's, it's, I think Frankie's got that ability. Frankie, there was another hurricane, Rita. Do you remember the day? Sometime in late September 2005, the Hurricane Rita also hit Galveston, Texas. Gosh. I'm telling you, man. Awesome. I don't think people realize this when they watch their video. His video, Because, Frankie, a lot of people watch your videos just for entertainment, I'm assuming, right? Yes. Do you feel sometimes that, that people are being mean on there or, or kind of just there to laugh? I ignore negative comments all That's the time on right, YouTube. That's right, man. Does it hurt, though? Does it still hurt when you read them sometimes? Or do you... Do you uh, I... I ignore negative comments. That's exactly that's what you gotta but do you in gotta life, see, man. But you gotta this read them. No, no, no. Let me tell you something real quick, I, man. I hate negative comments. He's busy doing exactly what he loves, and what yes. he loves, if someone watches it and, and prepares adequately, that might save their life. You hate the do you see what I'm saying? Comments? Why would you I, even I care about a negative comment? I'm when just that bad is, at dealing with them. But hold on, I, I read positive comments. See, he reads positive comments. But what I want to say is, like, his. What's what's your mission, uh, Frankie? If it came down to like your mission in one sentence, what would you say that would be? Hmm, yeah, good question. This is Frankie McDonald, my own TV station live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. <laughs> That's awesome. Massive blizzard headed towards Maine on January 27, 2015. Oh, I want people in Maine be prepared. Make sure that every winter boots ready, for your winter jackets ready, hats, and gloves, and scarf, and ski pants is ready. Order your pizzas and order your Chinese food. <laughs> buy I cases of Pepsi, buy cases of Coke. Do your grocery shopping. Don't wait till last minute. Do it right now. Have your iPads charged. Have your iPods charged. Have your cell phones charged. God, have your smart. laptops charged. Have your tablets charged. Have your 3G and 4G net ready. Have you have you thought about contacting like the Today Show and, and maybe taking over Al Roker's spot? Because that guy's making millions of dollars, and I think you I don't I don't know if from what I know Al Roker just like he he subscribes to like a weather service. And he just reads off weather reports. Frankie's actually in there analyzing yeah. models. And Roker doesn't tell you to charge your iPads and make sure you're 3G4. Nothing. This is stuff that really matters if you think about it that people don't care about. They might get their food and their water, but that they don't they don't get the batteries, right, Frankie? Maybe they don't get they don't make they charge their devices. Storms, severe thunderstorms <laughs> in the summer months and anywhere in the States to make sure and unplug your TVs, computers, stereos, and gaming consoles so you don't get a power surge. Crazy. When a severe thunderstorm happens in the area, get inside the host so you can be safe and stay away from the underneath the trees and stay away from the open fields such as golf courses. Wow. So, Frankie, you, you, you have like, what, 89,000 or so subscribers on YouTube? Over forty thousand. Over forty. Over so, 40, are you figuring out a way to like monetize this and make a living? I just do videos for something to do. So, uh, like, um, I do, do you live at home right now, or? Yes. Okay. You know what the channel is also known for, Dizzle? Frankie does amer- uh, amazing dances on the channel as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Like, Fra- yeah. Besides <laughs> weather, Frankie <laughs> seems to like dancing too. Is that true, or yes or no? Yes, I do. Where did the dancing come from, and the the love for dancing come from? Where did it come from? I just do it my own way. Yeah, that's the, the best part about it. It is his own way because no one on YouTube does a dance like that. Um, did no. you start when you were a kid dancing, or how did it work? How did it start? I started that in 2011. Okay. Wow. Frankie, do you think you can, can you... give us a little bit of a, a dance? Like if you put your computer down somewhere and just do a Frankie dance, maybe for like five seconds or something? This guy rocks, bro. Oh, telling you, man. <laughs> this guy is down for anything. Go okay, f- guys. Let's do some dancing. Let's show him my moves. I love it, dude. <laughs> Tony, man, <laughs> this oh is the God. Frankie dance, dude. If you want to see the Frankie dance, go to our YouTube channel. This is awesome. amazing. Look at that. Now you I did, don't you see Al Roker he, doing he that. He does the tour. Don't you do a twirl around too, Frankie? Well, you I do a guy. I also do a guy spinning around real fast. Yeah, yeah. See, he does, he does like a he, <laughs> he does a uh, a twirl sometimes every now and then. Anyway, um, that that's pretty cool, man. Frankie, Frankie, do you remember the first song that you heard that made you want to dance? That made you want to move the way you do? Uh, the Peaches is by the President of the United States. No way. <laughs> that's nice. an old school song. That's a great song. Right on. Yeah, that's a great song. So, Frankie, now that you're getting some kind of fame, do you get like people from your high school when 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 you were younger that maybe made fun of you or didn't treat you with respect? Kind of like you notice them them paying attention now. And when the people pick on me, I I ignore them. Right. That's right, man. So so what like as far as like um. Your celebrity status, are you able to, like, 
um, get 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 any like traction off of it. Maybe get I get certain a lot jobs of traction, or... and I I did some autographs. A bunch of people wow. recognized me. They got a picture taken with me. Really? Was this in Canada or in the states? Canada. Gosh, let me ask you this, Frankie. And Every the, some you... of those people came to Sydney, Nova Scotia. One of the from the states that got a picture of me oh during God. summertime. See, this is the thing, man. YouTube is an incredible device to yes. use for you, for especially for weather, right? Yeah. Do you think you've saved someone's life somewhere out there in Canada with your weather reports? Yes, and I I saved a lot of people's lives That's from blizzards, severe thunderstorms, hurricanes, heat waves, and etc. Okay, so from and all the typhoons in Philippines, Taiwan, and Japan. Oh yeah. Wow. Of all the weather things that occurred. When you were doing weatherman stuff, what what was your favorite one to cover? Like blizzards, hurricanes, typhoons, severe thunderstorms during summer months, or tornadoes. Okay. What what about the? Uh, do you remember when that tsunami happened in the Philippines? It's like a super typhoon high, and I've done a video for them. What about the? Uh, there was a tsunami. I think it was in uh, Sri Lanka. Was that it? Yeah, it's like it's a tsunami in Indonesia. Right. When it made 9.0 magnitude for earthquake happened on December 26, 2004 and killed over 250,000 people. That's before YouTube came online. See, oh, he's got this shit, ability dude. to that's remember awesome. dates and everything. That's pretty cool, Frankie. Hey, Frankie, we appreciate you coming on the show. Hey, do you think you want to be our official The Men's View Weatherman whenever there's a major event going on in Texas or, or yes. somewhere in the, Amer in the United States you come on? And give us a, uh, a a weather forecast. Yes. All right, there we go. We, we're building the men's view team. That's we right. got Frankie McDonald as our official weatherman. Thanks a lot for, for joining us, view. Frankie. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. All right, Thanks. Frankie, Thank take you, care. Frankie. See you later. See you, you man. Too. That was a good interview, man. He's 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 got a lot of passion for what he does. Dude, that's for I'm sure. impressed by Frankie. If a guy like Frankie with that a hard a time in life and that many disabilities is doing that much. Yeah, I have faith in Metalhead now that he's going to be able to. Metalhead needs to take a step, but like, I don't think Metalhead has passion in anything. Yeah, like Frankie Metalhead doesn't give a shit, dude. I think in weather, and he doesn't. I don't know if he fully realizes how what what his forecasts are doing out there. You know, like there there's someone out there that might not make it through a storm, but listen to the video and goes, "Oh yeah," like, and they do all these things. And they make it through. I'm pretty sure he saved lives like he said he does. But. Well, I, I thought this whole time the guy's just reading some news source, Dude, right? isn't that crazy? He is actually... He studies it. and then he No, he's reading the National Weather Service data. Yeah, that's what data, I'm saying. Which is basically like a bunch of numbers yeah. and like math, statistical information. You know, wind getting, speeds. And he's right. making a weather report out of it. And he's getting paid like, you know, from YouTube when he should be getting paid... On a bigger level, but nobody gives him a like chance. Like these other people that are they suck so bad on weather, you know? They're just yeah, like Al, you know, fuck Al Roker. We got Frankie McDonald now as our official yeah. weatherman. So, but Frankie, this guy gives a fuck. He's not trying to. Crack we any believe jokes. in you. He, he cares, and we think what you're doing is is important to the community. And I feel that the way you analyze all this data and everything, we're actually getting real weather reports, not not this. Al Roker type where it's just reading off a teleprompter and, and a personality. Yeah. Much yeah. better. It's much more jovial. You notice, notice when we talk to him about some stuff, like it seems like it, it's in his head. It's not, he's not reading you right off of a teleprompter or he doesn't have a note. Oh, he, he knows the he day. He knows right. about the weather system, what to do, like stay out of the heat. You know what I'm saying? Like he just knows. Yeah. Where those other people have to be, you're right, prompted and they... It's kind of like okay, this is like a puppet in front of you, right? Yeah. Just to fill in like ten minutes of a segment. Right? Well, we're gonna we're gonna be bringing you more Frankie, and whenever there's some major weather event that we need to warn warn America about, uh, Frankie will be on to uh, give us a forecast there and tell yeah. you guys. Yeah, and what I'll to just do. watch his YouTube channel because if I see anything with Texas in it, then maybe you can. Uh, and if you want to see Frankie's dance, just go to the Men's View YouTube channel, and don't forget to. Uh, Review us on iTunes. We got some nice reviews on iTunes and some emails this week. Uh, it's always good to hear emails. We got one from Matt Steven. He said, I clicked the 200 like on Facebook. Wishing you 2 million. Great show. Probably the best in this kind of category. Don't quit. Because none of these shows would be a waste. When this blows up, people will listen to old episodes too. 
I finished to listening to all almost all of your podcasts. Best ever. You are a part of my life now. Matt, we got more. I'm uploading all my old shows, so keep checking the feed. Does that blow your mind when someone does that? Yeah. To just watch everything and they listen to everything. It's like when someone watches all my videos. I had one person said, I watched all your videos. It took me a week. Jeez. And I'm like, wait. I I start thinking, like, did you work? So when, like, when you hear these kind of things, like, I I listen to all your new What is going through your head? Like, how long would that take? Yeah, that's what I thought, Because your previous show that almost blew up or was blowing up. I haven't put them all online, though. And you have how many episodes? What do you know? You know on the top of your head. 300? What, Uh, 200? No, 110. So 110 actual episodes before, and if you kept going. We're up at 200. Last time was our 200th episode. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Milestones, right? So you think he listened from day one when it was like, was it called Jesus Homie or what? Yeah, he hasn't listened to uh, the very... uh, middle shows i haven't put those up yet because that's when the show is really popular and i got screwed over by those dickheads <laughs> and that was pretty painful so those part are great of my episodes? Life. oh i'm so fucking angry about that whole but are time these episodes of my life. amazing or not yes amazing? they're fucking amazing so i'm gonna put them up is that when i came down to see you in houston yes that was when it was right. about to blow up right, right? that's when it I had remember blown that. up that's when it had blown up oh really yeah but I got so dicked over by these fucks. God, it was so grassroots back then because I remember watching you. Yeah, and, and I, I was putting I was putting seven days a week into the show. Yeah, I remember. Now I'm not I putting in shit because d- fucking I don't know if this thing's gonna do anything. Right. I remember when Bonefly Hustler used to tell me about you. About you. But we got one from Isaiah. Uh-huh. I forwarded it to you, but your email doesn't work anymore. It, it bounced back. But it's from Isaiah. He said, "I've been listening to your show for about two years and really enjoy it." Some advice, make the episodes more frequent, at least two a month. H. Dizzle has to stop talking about the same stories and problems. <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, makes it good, though. Kevy Kev is annoying. Whoa. Hey, I, I like Kevy Kev, man. Love Kevy Kev. Hell? Don't Dude, linger. Last, hey, this is a last, review. Whoa, whoa, this is a review, okay, man. Yeah, we got yeah, it. a review. Right? I, right, I take right, all these. Right. If they're serious and they're well-meaning, yeah. if yeah. it's not like "fuck you, you suck," like yeah. that's how you get better in life. I've always, always done that because if you saw as bad as I am now, if you saw me, oh, here comes a story. Ten years here ago, here comes another story. Here ten we go. years ago, Dizzle was <laughs> complete silence in front of women. <laughs> like I worked at this grocery store, Randall's. And oh, there was this girl, yeah, Kristen. Here, man. Yeah, there was this girl, Kristen, so hot. Ooh, Kristen. She'd be a, a, a checker. Oh, I think I dated that girl. But I, I was friends with her friends. <laughs> I, one of her guy friends was my best friend. They all worked there. But I was so in love with this girl, I'd always want to sack her like groceries at her little station. <laughs> She's a sack boy. Yeah, I was a sack boy. boy. With this kid. Jeez. So okay. I would be running and cutting in line through every. And I was the guy that was. I, I'm on the radio, kid. I'm always okay. joking around, talking with everybody. But then I'd always want to sack her groceries, but I was fucking shit scared. So I'd go and run yeah. through her little grocery thing. What did you look like back then? Ugly. I, I had a broken nose from a fight, right? Oh, okay. So it was yeah. all bent up. Because uh, when, you when you had the broken nose, really it was swollen, right? Yeah. Like so it, you like looked like the digital, digital underground guy, right? Humpty Dance exactly. guy? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whole front, the bridge <laughs> was smashed in. Yeah. And I didn't want to tell my parents, so I just like smushed it out, and then it just grew into like, a, oh, like an apple fuck. almost on my face. So this is my most striking feature. Was your nose? Yeah. And what about your hair? Was it long or short? I had a unibrow. Oh, so I was no. I was known as unibrow for a while. At Randall's? Everywhere I went. Oh, it was horrifying, right. dude. What till ninth grade. What till about ninth your build? Grade. Skinny. Fuck. Complete skinny, right? Damn, dude. So I'm this like really repulsive looking guy in love with one of the hottest girls at school. Like Slender Man. But I had a kind of good personality, but it was kind of annoying back then, I guess. But... I would just run up to her thing because I like if 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 a chacker a sacker even like walked off a little from her, yeah, I would run and take his spot, but I couldn't talk to her i I was terrified, so I would turn into utter silence dizzle That's funny while I was sacking her groceries, That's... and then yeah, I would just hang around her while she was there all day. <laughs> what'd you do the whole time? Just check her out just, every time she'd look away, I'd stare at her because she's so beautiful, hell yeah, hell <laughs> and yeah, then dude. when she do it man. if I'd be at a oh, this is funny. how creepy dizzle was like so. And it, I wasn't even creepy. I was just thinking, this girl's so beautiful, I can't stop looking at her. Oh, so it was pure, yeah. Yeah, it was no Listen, bad thoughts. Yeah. I was just like, oh, like she's, he, he, didn't, he didn't even know what kind of bad thoughts to have. I didn't even know about that exactly. much sexual yeah, kind of stuff. That's beautiful, dude. That's it. That is nice. <laughs> that was the bad thought. <laughs> okay, you, 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 okay, you know who her boyfriend was at the time? He's been on our show. How the fuck would I know? He's been Dr. on our David show. Dr. David Wilson? No, no. It, Julius. You'd never guess. No, it's the guy... Uh, 
Rob, the the Marine guy that came on that told the story. What? Robert Patrick Lewis. Remember oh, yeah, that guy? Yeah, yeah. That was her boyfriend at the time. Back then? Yes, I've talked him. about it. <laughs> Combat veteran. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and eventually, like, I, I it just became to where I hadn't talked to her ever to where I couldn't talk to her anymore. <laughs> so wow. I was just afraid she'd hear my voice. It, it became like a paranoia. I'm like, I can't talk to this girl. Whoa. She even came to my house one time for a little get-together because I was friends with her friends. Yeah. And I just sat in silence. There he is. Middle who, guy. Middle guy? Who, who are we Matt's looking at? RPL. Who? Robert Patrick. Lewis. Oh, okay. He just him. pulled it up. Cool. Zip, so, okay. Kevy Kev's annoying. Don't linger. And I hope that was a, a new story for you, Isaiah. I've never told it before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but don't linger on the same subject. I guess we do that? I don't know. I don't know. When I feel like the, the things we've beaten a dead horse. No, it's like building the story. Maybe he's talking about like, all right, yeah. like the update of your house situation and those tenants that were like trying to kick oh, you shit, out. That's a yeah. cool story that has to drag on through right. many podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last one, you finally get owned. Ooh, that was, well, that was just a weaker segment. That's that was like one segment though. Yeah. I don't even remember that one. Oh, you're talking about money. Mike. Yeah. Money yeah. Mike. So he also said would be cool if Wu and CMFK talk more. And right now I'm wishing CMFK would shut the fuck up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. But no, I I, I can't get Wu to talk, man. He sends one fucking email the whole week. Yeah. Where do you go, man? You disappear Oop, everywhere. How'd you cancel your fucking Warcraft? I'm flake right now. No, you're fucking... We call you to hang out because you can't get laid. We're going to a badass bar. I want to get laid, hottest, man. Whatever it is. Oh, yeah. That was a great bar. What the don't fuck? Don't you want to socialize on? or something? Wait, what was his actual excuse on that Oh, day? dude. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm playing Warcraft, but thanks. I thought you were done with that shit. No, I... No, you, no, no, you said I you think I straight it. up said I didn't want to go out. No, today. you said I don't want to go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay in and play Warcraft. I don't think I, I said you that. You said I Warcraft. Dude, we went to an amazing bar. Warcraft. Don't even I'm lie. I don't like bars that much, man. What do you? You don't Honestly, like to do like any. Bars. What do you like to do? We'll Dude, do something. When with I you. come home, I want to stay at home because I fucking I've been up since like seven a.m. Why? Wow. I come home. I actually sleep. Because I'm fucking exhausted. You know I'm just not buying this story, all right, man. Don't believe it. Don't take it personally. I think he's got something where he hey. just... He's got the Seinfeld syndrome. You ever heard the Seinfeld yeah. thing? It's the Seinfeld where you syndrome. Wait, you're like, you get out of your house. You're, like, you know, you're in your house. You go, can't wait to get out. And you get out and you're finally like, can't wait to go home. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> you got yeah. Seinfeld syndrome. It's like a joke. You, well, you, honestly... No, I think he has some kind of social phobia or some no, issue. I'm not socially anxious. I'm fucking talking what's to you wrong guys. With, what's wrong with the bar? He needs to come I, with I me. I don't like the bar because I don't drink, really. Come with I don't me. really drink. They got water. Come. Yeah, but then I... What, I mean... I, but don't juice. you want to just be like, hey, these are the guys I, I do a podcast with. I want to come get to know them better. We'll have some stories to tell. We'll hang do out. Do you like Some bag social toss? fucking setting? Yeah, are you... Do you okay. like girls? I do like girls. Do you like but, looking uh, at girls? Okay. How good was this bar? Okay. Now I'm curious. It was curious. a good bar. Now I'm curious. We went All down right. to Rainy Street. Went to Container. Fuck ah, it. fuck. No, fuck Container. Fuck Container. I hate that place. Hey, Wu. You uh, should have came with me and MLK Tuesday. Huh? Girl, girl was throwing it out there, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. What? Tuesday. Is this guy speaking English? What yeah, what's going on? I said, <laughs> Tuesday, me and, C and, me and CMLK were at a place. Okay. And this girl was throwing it out. To everybody. What place were you guys at? I've seen the girls Paula Conda walks in with. Oh, oh. Hey, at work. At work. Remember? Well, Remember? You want me to come hang out with you guys at work? Dude, yeah. <laughs> this girl was what? throwing it out there. Okay, what hold on. Mean? What the what fuck is going on? I like, don't know. This shit just derailed like Paula worse Conda, than that. I think do it, you no, I think have this s- titty in your phone? Let's see. <laughs> no, I do not. Have you ever seen The Fugitive? Like, you yeah. asked Where the train derails so bad. And it's like, <laughs> this is what fucking happened, dude. Okay, okay. You just need to come hang out with me. Okay, but I, I gotta go to work with you. Like I don't, I'm not like the oh, kid. I don't think you, can't you take go, me to go dude. to work there. You shouldn't you know? go. Paula Conda oh, oh. shows up with this girl yesterday, his girl, but the other girl he was with, she had like <laughs> I wasn't with. meth scars on her face. How do you know? Oh, beautiful. You, she okay? That's what I because I see, found man. out they just told me she's 22. <laughs> maybe, hey, maybe I she had chicken she pox. She was in her mid 30s. This girl was falling apart. Maybe she had chicken pox. Okay. No. That sure? she, she might have been just bad acne, dude. And yeah. you, okay, you know She's what? On the, Accutane, it's peeling off. You know. The, so the, the his girl and this girl were having this heated conversation about good times in their life, and the main topic was driving drunk, and when they got pulled over, driving drunk, <laughs> and DWIs, <laughs> and, and I said that was. And their, I got heated in a good like <laughs> no, it was a good jovial <laughs> conversation. I remember when. 
when that 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 that, that uh, sheriff pulled us over and we were shit faced. <laughs> And we had the open containers in our car, and he it. he never even saw them, and we had them right on the front dash, and, and they were sitting there, and I'm like, true this story. is their good stand. They're like, true story. You're not going to believe this. And they were so <laughs> proud of the fact that, that they that, evaded the law that right. way. And then they it went straight into the next DWI story. So it was just DWI night? At it was all about how they were drinking and smoking, and it was just... Okay. Non-stop. You can't say that yeah. you've never bragged about that, though. You never, like, told hmm. a story. I would like, hide man, that. Man, I got fucking I, wasted, man. Cop pulled me over, man. I didn't know where he found me, man. I didn't see shit. <laughs> Not if I'm, like, a 38-year-old woman. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. But when you were a 15-year-old woman, that was cool. Do you think they yeah. like bars? My girl, she likes going to bars. <laughs> Talk about the other one. It's like, dude, <laughs> you I don't know. That's her friend. That's her friend. <laughs> you gotta bring that girl on the show. So man. you she met, you like met your girl. Yeah, you have to get your girl on. I'm telling you, she's no, gonna I meant be the, a hit. The meth, no, meth head. No, that girl. Sure? She was just a. She was just a meth head. His girl is the I star meet a meth of the show. Head, though, oh, okay. Why this is she girl the star of the show. Because she's got yeah, a personality. Just gonna surprise she does have a personality. She's been all over the world. She, you know, I, you know, she's. You always you sell model? her very well, man. Like you're always selling her, upselling her very well. She's really nice to you. Yeah, I'm really nice. But to I her. feel like she's not treating you as as giving back to you what you're giving out to her. Well, she right now she's going through some worse times that I don't think I even told CMFK about. So, so if you're having <laughs> bad times, she comes over. She, she comes over here and talks about DWI stories. Wait, wait. Don't get me started with her. She, how, how long have you known this girl? Over a year now. Over a year. But when you first met her, was where? Where, where did the romance start? Where did it blossom? <sighs> Where'd you meet her? I met her Craigslist. Oh maybe. Gosh. shit! Right. So what Remember is your? That? Did yeah. you? Was it in like the miscellaneous or rant and rave? Where were you? What section were you in? Casual encounters. <laughs> no. Oh. Like, uh, where were you looking at? <laughs> It was like a. Uh, Were you finished. trying to buy an item and then you went there and you're like, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> you get lost in the, the casual encounters hole. I came for the drill bit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you had some cows that you needed some work done on them. Did y'all oh, need yeah. to get your uh, sheep's <laughs> testicles removed? <laughs> That's right, baby. No. Uh, I heard you had a charging cable for this dirty ass phone I have. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Do you know how to uh, fix? It? Let Pull. me make sure the shit works. Oh, don't look at that fucking screen though. <laughs> what did you fucking? What section did you meet her in? Uh, women seeking men. Okay. So she well, was the one mom. on the prowl. Yeah. yeah. Did she? She won the women that post a picture because I noticed almost nobody posts a picture on. Those. I think she did have a picture. Posted. What was the picture of? Picture of her. Doing face what? or whole body or everything? What? Uh, upper half of her body and face. Mm-hmm. Upper half. half. Okay. She was a half person. So wait, if you see an upper half picture, like, do you ever think like, well, why is it only like fucking upper half? Like, why can't, right? Do you ever think know, those kind man. of things or no? Usually no, there's not too much, things. there's not huh? too much variation on the lower torso. I've seen torso. variation, man. Yes. I don't know, <laughs> when, <man. laughs> Usually it's when you the see... body follows, or the upper follows the body. And, 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 and you know right away. It's kind of like the bodybuilder people that work out the top part and then you look at their legs and it's like, like little chicks like walking around, you know? Yeah, you don't need to do squats, man. You walk. Yeah. But those, like women can call that person out right away like my wife will say look at this girl i went to high school with her and now she only shows her face at a certain angle and right, right. her body. Yeah. she thought That's i was everybody, the, though, man. faking my country accent and style i guess too and she thought it was cute and then she realized i wasn't you mean I'm, you called her right i called her yeah she likes she don't like text she likes to be called what was the she was seeking men on craigslist mm-hmm to actually meet them for a real like uh, wine and dine me and like this and let's see the grandkids. Yeah, what did her like, ad say? Or was it more uh, like a woman singing okay. man uh, start dating and stuff stuff like that? Stuff uh, like that. Stuff yeah. like that. Stuff like I'm home at eight o'clock. I live in this part of town. No. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't like that. It was Are you so sure? Do you think yeah. you had a lot of competition? With her, because I'm sure, like the moment oh, a girl probably. posts something, a hundred horny guys are probably so. But I what don't do you know. think stuck out about your email? Yeah, yeah. What about you, Paul Conda? I I probably said I'm this is a simple country boy who's a simple country boy. Okay, what does that mean? Can you explain to us what a simple country boy is? 
It's what every what woman's kind of, dreaming of. What kind of qualities are in a simple country <laughs> boy? Simple country boy I'm, I'm pretty laid, laid back, <laughs> easygoing. Okay, okay. And I get things done. So, so Like taking pictures not of a lot of, <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of shit pisses you off, and you're a handyman. Is yes. that what I'm hearing? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. okay. Where'd you meet her first? Like, where did you see her for the first time? Where uh, I, went, I went and picked her and her kid up. In my old, in my old <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, wow, dude. So the, the, your your like <laughs> idea of a first date is completely <laughs> off what most people think. Like yeah, I'd be thinking, wait, you got? Did you know pickup. she had a kid? Yeah, I knew she had a kid. So does is she the type that'll? That's the fr- up in front. She's honest mm, with yeah. you. Like I got a kid here. Yeah, she she said she got a kid in tow. And Ugh. so was this a date? In tow. No, well, she had it. She didn't have a car. So she needed a ride. She needed a ride somewhere, and that's I why said, she I posted the ad. She needed a ride. So I went and picked her up in my old pickup truck. You know y'all, what's y'all funny? Seen it? Y'all see my old Man, pickup truck? Like, this I, is crazy. I noticed when she was here yesterday. That's all she kept asking him for was rides, places, and some of her stories were like how she drives his car around, and his car got bitch keyed into it no from way. her ex husband. Yeah. Really? Like it sounds like you've gotten yourself into this royal mess, but you're loving it. I love drama, I guess. Oh shit! Drama does it make, king. Does it Drama make you king. feel important? It was love at first sight when she was like, "Will you take me somewhere <laughs> <laughs> with my kid? <laughs> I need That's a ride, it, man." We've all had friends Head like that. Heels. Like uh. Uh, Shredder was that type. He, oh man, he'd always be like, "Hey man, I got some real important to tell you. Let's go take a ride to my uh, wife's, <laughs> wow. my ex wife's house. We'll talk about it on the way." Oh, well, yeah. what's cool about that my truck was is we had her kid in the car seat and. She had sat next to me, and my old truck's a standard, so I had to shift the gears, and she had, and between her legs and everything. So, so that was your first date. Yeah, that sounds very romantic there. So on your first date, you were shifting your gears in between her legs. Yeah, and her, got, and with her kid watching. Yes. <laughs> And you were just thinking sexual stuff the whole time, right? Like oh, how that? No. no. What were you guys talking about on that ride? Where'd you? How far was this ride? Five miles? Ten uh, miles? Oh, we went to <laughs> like two hundred <laughs> miles. <laughs> <laughs> we probably went about five to miles ex to the store to go get some stuff that she needed. Wow. Okay. She didn't okay. have a way to get. Well, there. Not, see, yeah. That's, Did it happen to be like anything heavy for like a truck, or was it? No, just... No, it's just something big <laughs> enough. I I could go pick her in a kind of refrigerator. I need to go get it fries. Oh, fuck is calling, man. Who's that calling? Hey, just hang up on him, man. He doesn't. He doesn't know when to wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're really gonna hang up, Metalhead? Listen, when, 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 when we're putting you on the show, you can't keep calling us, okay? You're interrupting the show. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. Like, we'll you call said... you when. Uh, Look at this fucking lighting, too. Uh, yeah. Call us when your lighting is better. What do you buy? Candle What's light. Hang up on him. Don't worry about the fucking light, man. Shit looks like it's like Halloween. Hey, don't five, call like us. Movie. We'll call you. We'll the call goddamn you light, man. We'll call you when we're ready, which might not happen. <laughs> there we go. No, oh, but uh, <laughs> well, I'll probably get her. You want her on on here? She'll probably come on here. Yeah, that that she She's needs to come on. What's her name? Megan. Megan. Will you uh, put four or five beers in her first? No, <laughs> probably about, about a I'll put a bear in her and take a picture. Jesus, <laughs> man. Here's a picture of her with oh, a bear in her. <laughs> oh, my God. Got half the bottle. I'll watch that. Did she ever see your dirty phone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's. Is, yeah. Uh, you, you, so I bet Paul Connor fucking just showed that shit off to her, too. Yeah. He would. We he, he, he were proud of it. She would come it's in my bedroom, get my phone, and go through it. Okay. And you got off to that, right? Like Wait, that? do you do you message other women huh? still on Craigslist? Do no. You, do you never check that section? No. Nah, is it because you're in a fully fulfilled relationship, or is it that you're more scared that she might catch you? <laughs> 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 do you love no. this girl? I like her a whole lot, yeah. Do you love this girl? Yes. Okay. Damn, way to <laughs> what put the her hell on the spot, spot, man. Was Fuck, man. Shit went hey, what, hey, weird. Honda, was she a rebound from your last relationship? Like, is that what kind of helped you? Now she's just a, I don't know, she's a more better person overall, personality. More better? Well, more yeah, better. country, you know, country <laughs> five. Yeah, she's country got, boy, she got, she got a kid in tow. Girl. Yeah. Kid in tow. A kid in tow. Yeah, and I, I'm not going to bring up the whole kid situation because that's a mess that from what a, I hear. Yeah, so I'll leave that one alone. Do you think we should bring her on the show? Without stuff in her, or like with stuff in her? No. Oh, wait, wait. I don't We're think it's possible to bring her with, without stuff. There's yeah. probably always stuff in this 
in her. Really? Yeah. Okay. What wait, kind of wait, stuff? We're, talk, we're not talking. Some kind of alcoholic alcohol. beverage. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, just clarify. Yeah. Just, just once she reaches a point, no more. Because once she goes past that point, it's I'm, I'm she'll t- go from being so loving, being so loving to. Psycho. How, how, yeah. how often does she get you psycho with you? Fucking uh, love me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. She did last night. And oh, she does no. every time you're here. I hear about it. How no. how how many times a week does she flip out? Uh, once. <laughs> once. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. I guess. Okay, that ain't too bad. But how many times a week does your wife? Oh. It used to be a lot, but not anymore. How many times a week? Is the Almost question. never. Almost but, never. But it's not like crazy flip out. Well, it's like this. It's here. like, hey, clean okay. up your mess or something. We were arguing okay. last night, but who made me dinner even though after the argument? Oh, shit. She did. And what did she cook for you? <laughs> <laughs> breakfast burrito. <laughs> breakfast burrito for and dinner. That's fucked up, man. Is it the That's one what that, I wanted. <laughs> but is it You're the one that up, comes man. in the cardboard or the plastic one? Is it where you open the plastic <laughs> or the cardboard? It's the lean she cuisine. Made it, she made it by scratch. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. wow. Just make Ask sure. CMFK. He was there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What was, was the was like, and everything. Don't believe me. Ask CMFK. She went to the convenience <laughs> store, went that little fridgy thing, you know, <laughs> pulled out the big burrito All thing. Right. How much shit was in there, though? Did she, like, take a dump in the breakfast burrito? No, we were out right of spite. No, we were out right there in the kitchen. Okay. Mm, okay. Right. Okay. But well, we was like... I'm skeptical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no joke. Know. You don't trust anything in your burrito, <laughs> no, man. I don't, you know what else uh, I don't trust is the container bar. That place blows, dude. I'm glad I didn't go I'm still go thinking down. about the burrito, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm still like, if it's an egg and w- sausage burrito, I think I'd be able to see shit. Okay. And go like, right. something's not right here. If it was salsa, it was chorizo, though? Mm, maybe not so much, right? I don't like chorizo. <laughs> so I'd still find it. So, so Paula Conda, okay. do you see this progressing into like a, a marriage here? It's possible. It's possible. Damn. You don't feel like in any Deep way questions. that maybe like you, you're not, yeah, like reconsidering this or. Like maybe there's someone else that you could be with the rest of your life that would make you feel better. Oof. Uh oh. You know, honestly, is this, is this fan talk again. I think this I show the could use a little more positivity <laughs> oh. when it comes to relationships. Cause <laughs> it seems let's, let's every one from. of you guys are trying to like convince you that. Like each other, that you're in a bad relationship. There's something <laughs> bad is going wrong. Exactly. You did that to see him. The best relationship is yeah. where everyone's single and we're still doing this podcast. Hey and man, it's like by a you shit guys, load of money. Yeah, by you guys' standards, I'm like the fucking god here. I'm the best. Here's the thing, though. Like, bona fide. <laughs> hey, you're thinks, definitely not the fucking god. Here. <laughs> bona fide thinks that I'm always fighting with my wife. I'm thinking uh, bona fide because we never actually hang out as couples, and he doesn't. The few well, times probably will soon. I guess. Because your wife did some token of appreciation thing lately. That was cool. <laughs> she made it herself. She, she, oh, really? Yeah, she's going to start making them. My girl put it on her. F- God, this sounds so fucked up. But she put the gift on her face. Yeah. And used was it. it to, was it oily or greasy? It smelled really good, actually. It was good. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. It keeps my wife's skin like perfect. Oh, that's what she said. She's like, did you see my little skin? Oh, it's perfect. And I was like, no, but she's and like, she, it's really good. I'm like, okay. It's she's all like, she gave organic this shit. Like, cool. and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it's That's really a good. good Austin gift to give someone. Yeah. Because it probably didn't cost very much. You right. guys talking right? about but essential oil shit or no, what? No, it's something on the... It's, it's, it's like a... It's like a see, see why Paula the fuck Kana, don't you that's use that the kind, shit? I do. That's the kind of woman you got to get, man. One that's like making you things and like... Oh, one made him a exactly. breakfast burrito. Oh, yeah. like, uh, that ain't too fuck? bad, man. That ain't too bad. Hey, look, we'll get her on the show. Look, At least she, she's good for the show. This, we, let me see this. We, we thought go. about that dick right pick, there. Dick uh, pick. We Hell thought about yeah. that right there. Uh, you know tomorrow, what that is? Pick. Tomorrow his I, hands I, will grow warts. You know what that is? It's, it's a marriage I touched certificate. too, dude. Ugh. Oh, what is geez. it? Y'all got me all paranoid about no, touch his phone. Come on, man. It's like, <laughs> I'm like drag it over with like a fucking stick or something. What is the word? Okay. Like, what's the you worst disease you've heard? Who curses a lot? Have you noticed that? Really? On the show only. Oh, does he? Oh, really? I'm sorry. You ever heard that? That's like, how much no. we thought about it. So. <laughs> you ever heard about flesh? You, you know a lot about flesh eating bacteria, right? Didn't you know a lot about that back in the day? Yeah. Because it wasn't there some cases going around where like some people in Texas were getting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? It's, it's like two years ago or something, right? Right. You, th- there was that, that's the fucking culprit there. It's that phone, <laughs> that phone. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you know what? Let's leave Paul kind of alone. We'll we'll bring um, what was her name? Megan. Megan on the phone. I mean, on the show. What do we call her? Megan the what? 
Megan the no, no, he gets uh, to make it up. Burrito maker. If you're Paula Conda, she's a siren. I'm bona fide hustler. Oh, this is Lord. Dizzle, and this is Woo, just fucking Woo, and this is CMFK. What is she gonna be? Burrito Smith. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Burrito Smith. Burrito Forger. Oh, Lord, I don't know what. Dollars. She's a barista. She's a Craigslist Bar- siren. She lures Craigslist. men. I like that. Yeah, Craigslist, Craigslist siren. Yeah, yeah Craigslist she, siren. Right. She, there. That's she a lures good one, men dude. like Palaconda, <laughs> and then gets them so embroiled in her life they're, that they're, they can smash upon the rocks. They're doing they don't every even know they're done. beck and call, take driving them places. And Honestly, man, I think we're leaving. wanting to get married. I mean, this, does she know this she's girl psycho? Has got Palaconda wrapped around what? her finger. Does she know she's psycho? Yeah, she does. So why don't we just call her the online psycho? I like Craigslist Siren because that sounds kind of alluring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, okay, well, we'll do that. Yeah, you haven't seen her hair, Wade, so. Okay, is that it, it's hot it's extra? Was this the picture I saw with the cream pie and the hair all smushed? Oh, in? Jesus, Jesus her. dude. Was that her? No. Who was that? No, I don't know. It was an extreme on. close up of, That's of, disgusting, of dude. a vagina. Let's not talk remember. about that. That's gross, uh-huh. man. Cream yeah. pies are one thing that I just can't get into. This, I hate those. Those are his phone pictures, man. I got, I got rid of those. Cream well, pies. Do, you, do you even know what a cream pie is? Oh, I know exactly what a cream pie is. Because he watches porn all day. I watch so much porn. Speaking of woo and porn, we got another email from hey, a listener. We'll just have Metalhead define a cream pie. Oh, <laughs> Seriously, that. you better write that down just to see if he actually can describe it. Well, let me. I got a, I got a new uh, listener email right here for woo. Okay. He's, he's Is that the last part of that email, by the way? Did you read uh, the whole thing? The last part said just, uh, let me see. You got to read the whole thing. Make that was sure. it. it okay, the good. very last line said, hope the show succeeds. Cool. That's it. Damn. Thank you for your comment or your email. Yeah, yes, dude, thank you, Isaiah. Critique, man. And uh, so we got an email. And if you're on our YouTube channel, leave a comment on our videos and subscribe to us on YouTube because, you know, that's the future right there. Frankie's going to be our weatherman. You can check us out, dance out there. But, yeah, somebody left a message that they're going to buy Wu a flashlight. So this flash. Flash. Flashlight. Flash. Flashlight. Because we, 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 we mentioned that Wu needs to get a flashlight here. I don't need a flashlight. It'd be nice to have, I think. No, it was a dare. Like, if we could get you one, would you use it? I would absolutely use that thing, man. Let someone fucking listen to that podcast. That's awesome. <laughs> it's going <laughs> to carry this mission so, out. So here's what the listener says. He doesn't want to be named, by the way. He said, do not name me. He's, and I told him, make sure it's not a used one. <laughs> Is it? He said, no, it's going to be a new one. Oh, he'll, send, he'll send whichever one Wu wants as long as there's proof that he used it. Love the show. It's pretty funny. Where should I send it? Okay. Uh, I have a bit of a qualm with, uh, I don't know. How, how am I supposed to send proof that I've used it? All we got. Oh yeah, that's Paul Condo. <laughs> Paul oh. Condo. Oh, if we God. get you behind that curtain right there, I'm not gonna jerk on the off back in of the studio. No, no, no. Guys, Maybe no, you can do hard. what you need to do and then stick it in there. Paul Condo can inspect it, and then maybe we can put a mic your way, right, so we can hear right. the freaking sound. Oh, right. And no, then, and then, no, listen, listen, listen. And then you can turn around while it's in there. And then Paul kind of verifies that it's in there. Right. You got it. But it's not you're like you're showing your shit. It's like a Dairy Queen, like a smooth uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, when they they turn those things upside down, the uh, what are those things called? A blizzard. When they they look at a blizzard, you turn it upside down and real then they quick. Have to come, come oh, yeah, disgusting. really? You That's show Palaconda real Why quick. Why the fuck do we want I that? Don't know. I... Pa- Palaconda has to make sure that he finished in there. That's oh. that's. Oh. It's just like doing cowboy work, watching oh. the bull <laughs> with a vet. He's game right there. <laughs> the He's used to seeing these out in the country. Dude, you actually farm. think God. that Wu can get off in a flashlight? I don't. I can. Okay. He's got to prove if it. I'm Otherwise, alone, you gotta though. you gotta pay this guy back. I guess you gotta get some get a video for him to get what? off. With what are the too? rules here? I don't even know what the rules All right. are. We videotape it from the face up. Okay. I don't want to jerk off on camera, <laughs> dude. I really don't. I really fucking don't want to. <laughs> but it won't be camera. actual. It'll be just close up on your face. Okay, and you oh. get to go somewhere else doing that with the camera. I don't want to do it. How about you just take the mic in there then? Can I just like do this at home? In okay. Front of my home, he needs proof, dude. I know that. I'm okay, just here's how you don't way. have to jerk Can off I? on camera. This cord is very long, right? Yeah. So you go behind those curtains, do what you need to with the mic on, and then Paula kind of goes and just make sure that the deed is done. He'll do it a quick but How inspection. do we know he's not doing like some like, you know how some people uh, cheat the drug test thing where they right. have like a little vial of something on their leg? Yeah. And then they just like <laughs> fake, squirt it in fake there Fake jizz? Quick. Yeah. Put some Vaseline in there. How do we know this isn't like because Paul Kana's going to do a before and after inspection? 
Oh, <laughs> dude, this. Can you pat him down? Make oh, sure he doesn't God have any it. like That's foreign fine. bodies on. Like, a, what does a this guy want in the email? Yeah, he just what? wants to make sure that we used it. Right, like we're not just gonna or get a really flashlight out like of him. Used it or used it? There's two uses. One use is just like okay, uh, it was kind of interesting. He just then, wants proof that Wu actually also, is using it. Also, I mean, I I'm, I'm kind of feeling weird about this because this dude. More or less wants me to get off in a flashlight that he sent. This isn't some kind of, you know, it's brand new, right? This, is, this of, is our uh, listener sending us something, and if, I'm if he doesn't get proof, we'll never get anything no, from but listeners No, I again. hear what Wu was saying. He <laughs> wants to make sure that this flashlight is sealed. I want it oh, it's going to be it's gonna be brand new in a box. It's going to come directly from flashlight. Okay. and But this guy isn't like, hey, Oh, it's going to come directly hot. from flashlight? That Wu is going to come in this thing. He's not going to get off to the fact that I, I'm using it, right? Why would no, he just wants I proof he that he doesn't want to waste his money. Okay. Oh, God. I, okay. Are you doing it or not? <clears throat> we don't have to see anything. I'm looking at these flashlights right now, man. Oh. They look pretty hot. I don't look. I don't <laughs> want to. Don't, don't look hot. There's a stamina training one. I think it's a novelty. One. I think it's something that'd be interesting. Do you stamina want the training. stamina training one? No, I, it has I like a little treadmill stamina. built inside of there. <laughs> I, I like my lack of there stamina. There is a butthole one. A butthole, huh? There's a guy's butt. I don't want, want the guy's butt. I know you've been pushing this one. You've been. You really it's want a, me to fuck a butt? <laughs> Hold on, real quick. But how much are these things, by the way? Uh, I think they're expensive, like in the eighty eighty dollar range. So this guy wants to invest eighty into you, Woo. I thought and they were thirty. Show. I thought I saw thirty dollar ones. Who cares there. what it is? If you're gonna get it for free, what does it matter? Free. But do you the thing want the is, I have to get off on mic on a mic? Yes. See, that's, that's the thing. Later on, if you become like this like multi millionaire guy, that like you can always contest like that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, it you won't be saying? video. Yeah, it's not It'll video. It'll just be audio. <laughs> but we can go all CIA on your shit, like get the intonations of your voice and like right, that's your larynx dick, and shit. Dude. You know, there's an alien one right here. It was Avatar, right? Fifty. Okay, they just there. It's on sale too, so <laughs> it's only fifty eight ninety five now. On, on, on oh my that's God. the cheapest flashlight. All right. Okay. So proof. Can it just be my word? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're not gonna make him waste his money. Yeah. If, he wants proof, bro. Okay. And we and need the content. Proof, <laughs> you want the proof to be me moaning into the mic. Well, yeah, that's right. Not CMFK has we a want point. Real. CMFK has a point. Ask the person right now in the air, because they're going to listen to this podcast, how do you want the how proof you want sent? Proof? And, I and, it, and it cannot be video. I don't want it to be video or audio even. You, he can send an MP3 file over there real quick with you just doing your shit. We need something that we can play on the show as proof. Oh, shit, man. Now, now I don't know if I want it on the show <laughs> at all. You want me fucking having sex with a sex toy on the show. <laughs> It's not going to be on the what? show. You're going to be in the other room. It's, you're not a public figure. All you, You're hacking up fish, and <laughs> nothing's going to go wrong. <laughs> okay, I've just never really been into the you whole know, voyeurism, you know? There's guys out really there that do this. I actually called one. He was selling a uh, butthole sex toy, and it was used. Oh, Say what? God, there's dude. a guy on Craigslist selling a butthole sex toy. You know what? Sex toy. I think I found you I, sent me. I you sent found me the list. you this. Okay, my wife asked me. Okay, well, where was where was bona fide browsing that he runs across? Toys and games section. So toys there's and toys games. and games. Yeah, <laughs> swear because it's, it's like this is an adult toy somewhere in that ad it says this is an adult toy, but I look for remote control cars to flip. But like, the all picture kinds of crazy on there was like there. a guy, a gay porn star bent over, completely naked. Dude, when I see something that doesn't is not a toy or a Skylanders or a thing that I'm looking for to flip to make money on, it'll stand out very quickly to me. Here's I, what. Here's I what I found see, out, Especially though. adult toys, because that's not the first time I've seen one. You remember a year ago? I was oh, at a yeah, Starbucks yeah, browsing one. Craigslist, right. and I sent you one really quickly, too. A free too. one, yeah. A free uh, used dildo, right? A used one? Yeah. A oh. free well, no, here's what I... Free dildo hasn't been used or something like that, and it's like out of the package and everything, which is really funny. Whenever I call this guy from talking to him... <laughs> <laughs> what did you, you say? I said put a toothbrush on it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Whenever I talked to this guy, I found out that if you get a used, like... Male sex toy, it's actually worth more because like guys want no. that. So that's the premise of this, right? Yeah. So I call this guy to ask about his sex toy. Hello. Yes. Hello. I'm calling about the Blake Riley seven times vibrating ass. Yeah. Can you tell me more about this sex toy? Uh, it's just like an ass, and you can fuck it. Okay. And you you said it's brand new? No, it's not. And you you said you your friend used it. Yeah. Did he tell you he was used it, or it uh, you just can tell? 
I can just tell. Oh, so he sold it as new. Yeah. Oh, he lied to you. Yeah. So you think he bought it, fucked it and then sold it. Yeah. Okay, so is there any particulate matter remaining inside? No, it's been cleaned pretty well. It just Okay, because I'm looking to fuck the ass. I'm it's not for my girl. Right. Okay, because I have never used one of these things before. Have you ever tried one? Uh, no. Okay, so you don't know if it feels like a real ass or anything. They do feel pretty real. And is it the si- how big is it? Is it the size of a real ass? Yeah. Okay, and and can, do you have this by you by any chance? Yeah. Okay, can you spread the cheeks and see if there's any hair in the butthole? I'm looking for a hairy butthole sex toy. They do not have hair on it. Not a lot of toys have hair on them. Okay, and and this guy is bent over or he's standing straight up? I can't tell from the picture. It's just an ass. It's a doggy style. It's a doggy style ass. Okay. Okay, and would you take $10 for it? Uh, How about 20 what if you use it and then don't clean it? I'll come pick it up. I'll give you $300. Can you really? do? Can you get like two, three people to drop some loads in it? Yeah. Okay, $300 then. I'll call you later. Whenever you're done, uh, just send me an email. I'll email you, okay? How, how long will it take you to get maybe three loads? Even if you want just your loads. Tomorrow. Okay, just leave it in there and then put a piece of tape on top of the butthole, okay? And then put what? Like a piece of tape so it doesn't dry oh, up. okay. All right. Oh. Okay, thank you. Oh. All right, bye. <laughs> That, I think that goes down in history as your, your best one. Right. Yeah, I That's think it's the best explicit, one. man. <laughs> but wow. it's the best one. Yeah. If you put that on, you that could be blow, a blow-up material kind of... That's a real prank call. Yeah. Oh, man. Because there's no way you could have had that before I sent you that. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you weren't engineering this and making it up. Like I, I, I don't get gay guys sometimes, man. Like, I understand... I don't think he was gay, that guy. Was he? Yes. Yeah. It was a gay sex toy. Like, I understand, like, okay, I'm attracted to another man. Like, that's what I prefer. But, right. like, some of these gay guys, like, they'll just meet up. Off. Like, if you go to the gay Craigslist, male for male, yeah, it's just guys spreading their asshole, like, pictures, like, one after the other. Like I've never been there. Come meet, meet me at my house. I'll be here in two. Like, these guys want, like, would you ever want that with another woman? Why are you woman? looking at me? No, I'm just saying, would any of y'all want that with another woman? Like Ask Paula Conda. Paula Conda. Mm. You're the dirtiest out of anybody I know. <laughs> Would you want a used sex toy from a random woman? No. Like I just don't find that hygienic or anything. Yeah. That I might don't not. get it. No, I don't I don't want that. You're yeah. just a fucking prude, dude. That's but like all. guys will pay more. Like guys are just dirty, man. Like guys in general. Yeah, they are. Like they're willing to pay more take for pay a used stuff, but Basically a used flashlight. I guess they will. Not Ooh. me. Ugh. Dude, that, that that gives me a sick feeling, dude. A used sex toy. Sold to somebody else. That just doesn't. So it doesn't settle right. Well, how much proof can you give someone who uses this? <laughs> oh God! What's damn, your dude, kind of proof that actually weird. is proof? Think about it before honestly, you say it. Don't honestly, just be like, "I'm gonna give you my word," because that no, doesn't. I work. know. I know that's not gonna fly. So think I about know it. Like, get all CSI Listen, on Luke, this right now. You're not think contributing about it. much to the uh, online discussion. So now you gotta okay contribute here. Okay. Well, what is proof? <laughs> Tell proof? us right now what proof would be. I think proof. I think Paul Connor had a good idea earlier. I he he <laughs> watches livestock. He's seen it before. Okay. I think Paul Connor can verify. So Paul Connor is gonna watch. He's not gonna. How, I don't okay. Know. How about this? How about this? Okay. How about how about he see? Okay, up, I got like, it. I got really proof enough right here. So you go behind the curtain over there. Yeah. The lights are on. Paul Connor's back there. The mic's not on you. It's on Paul Connor. He's watching me He's jerk got, off. You want? Well, I'm not gonna but stare at it. Right. Your back, your back is your back to him. him. Okay, your back is to him. to him. I don't think I could jerk off with someone. Okay, else in so the do room, you want Paula Connor to come in right as you're going? Right. That's what I'm saying. You get ready in there, and then you 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 call us with an alert. I will. Okay. How about this? I'll get a boner. I'll put my dick in the flashlight. I'll walk, walk out. That's my dick in the flashlight right there. That, but that's not really using it. What do you mean? Yes. How how long would it, it take you to finish off? I don't know. I've never used. He a might not be able to because he's gonna I be under so much pressure. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's so performance his, anxiety uh, right I there. I think that's man. using it. Anytime okay. you put friction, okay. there's, there's a pill you can use. If bona fide agrees, let's take a vote. So you, okay, you walk out like with your. Be- see, I don't want to see it though. I'd rather get Paula Connor describe it. No, I, I, I'll look at it. 
Okay, so you're gonna. Cause my oh. dick is in a flashlight. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna put it. You're gonna walk out with your pants down and your dick in a flashlight. I'm not gonna put it on the show though. But so, so we send someone back there and they go, yeah. How about did it. okay? Yeah. How about we film it and I blur it out for YouTube? Oh, mm. that's a good idea. It'll be completely blurred out. You're not. It's not you. You're just like your upper torso and your legs will be visible. Everything we're gonna middle, do like 4K GoPro kind of thing here. No, yeah, everything. You'll have your uh, gimbal camera and everything. But it'll be completely that blurred out. I have to walk in there. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> no, no, he's gonna walk out no, from the curtains. I don't want to walk out from the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I mean, we, I don't. I honestly don't like want my guest. fucking whoever nude watches. Body. It's blurred we'll out. Will come in. He'll go. He'll say the word, right? And the person it, comes in with the thing. No, right? I'll with even the camera. walk out. Like I'll be in another room. Okay. I'll walk out. I'll be like, look, this is my dick in a flashlight. Okay. I'll be okay. like, hey, that's a fucking dick in a flashlight. Okay. That's, that's but we it. got we got to film it and blur it out because that's yeah, the that's, proof. That's the proof. That's the proof. Okay. Otherwise, there's no proof. I so say, you say you say what you want. You know you can, what sucks though? You can I come around it. that corner right there, and we'll have the camera ready. And you go, look, dick in a flashlight, and then you right. zoom off and you do what you need to do. Right. If you want to finish, you can. I don't want to finish. I don't even know if I can get an <laughs> erection knowing that I'm going to have Runs to go take a quick picture <laughs> for you. Hear a scream. Wait, hey, oh! get a pill. <laughs> oh, dude. What if we hear this like incredibly high, shrill voice? Like, <laughs> this thing's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of pills, I did give Policana that ME72 dick pill. Yeah. Did you use it? Yeah. Oh, and God. Any, that anything? fucking fake ass. It was, it was okay, but. I like the, uh, the Black Mama one better. Oh, dude. So you, you're way into these pills they sell at the convenience stores. I've tried it, too. Yeah. Do you ever feel like your heart's going to explode or anything? <laughs> no, but uh, I got side effects from... Uh, what are the side effects from you Black got? From Black Mamba? Yeah. <laughs> Headaches. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it took all the blood away from his head. <laughs> and uh, so like funny. fluorescent lights, you see little flashes and... It's a little dizzy. Oh, wow, shit. Dude. Yeah, because that stuff is straight up poison, man. You're eating arsenic and shit, man. You know what man. that is? Will you live forever or what? That is a, that's or a fast heartbeat. That's, that's the signal of a fast heartbeat. Like you're, you're, you're uh, what's it called? You're sensitive to light. Yeah. And then sometimes you feel your eyeballs, twi- your yeah. eyelid twitching a little. I'm telling you, dude. You probably raised your, your heart like well, crazy levels. So well, you I- take half of one. So to the listener, so you, so you had a half mamba, uh huh, okay. <laughs> and half later. <laughs> 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 it's like the turbo charge of the mamba it's like <laughs> he gets a full mamba first and he's like got a half mamba left <laughs> <laughs> use it tonight strategic all right so woo we got it settled you're gonna you're gonna go back there i really don't want pictures you're gonna get taken hard. though not pictures it's a rolling it's video gonna be rolling it's a rolling video, video. it's gonna be edited sure. bro look you can just I'll zoom out real quick, look, dick in a fucking thing, and you zoom out, and that's it. It's like basically two All seconds right. of your life. Okay. If that ruins you your life. What? Honestly, that, yeah, that's okay. Whatever. Yeah. Fuck. Can that ruin someone's life? I think it could, actually, but what I'm do you, okay Do you plan that. on becoming popular later on in anything? I don't know. <laughs> 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 it's not like if you lead a, lead a guild on the next Warcraft game that someone's going to be like, no, man, you're the fucking guy that had the dick <laughs> honestly, in the flashlight on that yeah. podcast, dude. Honestly, you, actually, episode 47, I remember that. All right. All I, I just don't want, you know, fucking pictures of me no. in the cloud dude we're not where gonna people could jerk off to it's me. not gonna be a picture it's gonna be rolling video in the cloud of okay. you, <laughs> <laughs> you know what even if people do jerk off to I'm, me whatever I'm, right whatever i'm not gonna screw you over okay well, it's gonna I, be I completely like blurred out and trust me i don't want to edit this oh. you, you're the you're the that's person realize to, i'm gonna have to edit that's this? not much to edit though if a, if a thing is in the fleshlight yeah then there's really at, not much left to look i'm just gonna look at his i mean my balls are yeah i mean i haven't shaved my yeah, pubic that's hair in a problem. while there's gonna a be warcraft a bush <laughs> dude, that's it's been a couple of like years. gummy bears in there and like Ooh, it's like taco, taco bell dude. he's going Mountain through a taco bell wrapper some hot sauce oh fire sauce only fire sauce yep all right dude yeah. All right. Are that's, you gonna, are you gonna do okay, any like manscaping before this like shot occurs? Should I? Should I? Do you guys ask, think I should ask save, Paul Conda? Shave? No. No. I think it'd be I funnier think if you walked bush, out with it. I mean, big it's natural. Asian, I, like we live in Austin, man. Like this stuff is normal. His silky and Asian bush. Hold up. So, so to the viewer, like I can choose whichever flashlight I want to. Yeah. Okay. Because I've been no, because homeboy's gonna been, probably buy the cheapest one. Don't like. Don't drain no, this guy's no, budget. No, 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 right. no, 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 we'll no, give him no. options. We'll, give him obviously. options, yeah, and if he options. if he okay. wants to buy the cheapest one, he can't. So if you see a large one. blurred thing, you know it's the butthole one. Yeah. If you see a huge <laughs> blur coming through, 
<laughs> you know he got the Dude, big one. Please don't send He's me gonna the get butthole you an entire one. I'm not going to use the butthole He's going to get you the, the, Anal the mamba version of a... Like the mamba <laughs> fleshlight version. Like this big butt. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Comes on a trailer. He's going to get a like, twerk butt for him. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know, man. I got to Yeah, what is your research. preference? Wait, are you on the fleshlight the cl- website right now? Yeah. Oh, cool. So the, the alien vagina look kind of interesting, but... uh. I don't think I want that. You know one. the person at the top of this Fleshlight game that decided to make it is just like You know who it is? Them. You know who owns Fleshlight? The uh, guy no. that does Joe Rogan stuff, the uh on it. Okay. That guy's from Austin and his family runs the Fleshlight. No way. Yeah, like that's runs it that's why Joe that owns is it. They own, own it. it. That's why Joe Rogan started CEO of Fleshlight. Yeah, that's why Joe Rogan's Dude. podcast in the beginning were all fleshlight um, advertisements. And oh, okay. Then he stopped doing it whenever they started on it. How do you scroll down? And if you look at their website, it said something like 10 million sold or something. Times 70 bucks? 10 million? Times 70. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this fleshlight guy is a fucking kingpin. That's how they start all these <laughs> on <laughs> <and> A fucking <laughs> kingpin. Rolling around with like a cane and a top hat like, bitch, I'm a kingpin of fleshlight. <laughs> 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 the end of his f- cane is a flashlight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, let's take a break here. But before we do, I just want to tell you a little bit more about what Bonafide Hustler does, and you can do it too. See, Bonafide's oh. over here. <laughs> Bonafide's over at our crib just chilling, and that's basically the Bonafide lifestyle. Just <laughs> chill all day. Y'all are looking at flashlights. <laughs> Dude, there's some crazy looking But yeah, Bonafide is teaching me something recently, which is the Goodwill Hustle. Like oh, yeah. it's crazy. Like I'm turned my whole wardrobe because I, I when I find something cool that I'm hustling, I make it like my own. Like I, I'm keeping it and wearing it for a little bit because he he's shown me how to hustle shoes now and clothes, and I'm literally getting this badass wardrobe for like five ninety nine a shirt, three ninety nine a shirt, seven ninety nine for some like Bruno Mali Italian shoes. You know that costs like three hundred bucks at a store. Right. So I'm getting all good. You, you walked in. We went out to a nightclub the other day. Right. Where Wu was invited, didn't show up, container bar. And it sucks. It's not some fun. girl just came, started talking to us, and she goes, wow, two really well-dressed men right here. I love the okay. love yeah, her style. How attractive was she? She was, she was yeah, hot. She was pretty. Yeah. Oh, that was the older lady. Right. Oh, she was major older. hot. Right. Whoa. She yeah, was yeah. a rep for uh, Tabbed Out. No, not that one. There was another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she comes up to him and is complimenting us on our clothes, and right. we're both completely head to toe, both of us, dressed from Goodwill and pawn shop shit. Yeah, I had a $2. No. Yeah, I had a $2 pearl snap that had rainbow stuff on the top that made it look all colorful and cool. Not, you know, anyway. I see Austin I had style, though. Like $2 jeans. I had. I had forty dollar cowboy boots. I ain't gonna lie, but There's like rattlesnake skin. Rattlesnake skin. Yeah, that's what you paid for. Skin, it. cowboy it's probably boots. Probably a thousand dollar boot. No, no, no. It's two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. Yeah. So, and that's what I had. New underwear. Yeah. New socks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. You're right. Yeah, I was wearing some Italian brand shirt. Like I don't even heard of the brand, but it was expensive on eBay, and it had these cool like floral yeah, patterns. She was just like all about our clothes, yeah. man. And these pants and these nice shoes. And I was literally wearing like $7 worth of stuff. Mm-hmm. Goes Good to show one. you, man. So what Bonafide basically does, he finds shit that people want, man. That's what they desire. When this lady saw her clothes, she was flipping out because people spend big bucks on that. But Bonafide, he'll teach you how he does it to where he finds different venues and avenues where he buys really cheap stuff. And then he sells it for a lot more on Craigslist, eBay, Amazon. That's basically retailing 101, right? That's when you go to Macy's or you go anywhere, that's what you're buying. People Sometimes people uh, will tell Bonafide, like, hey, man, I don't know if that's right, man. You just, you'll get haters like that, right? No, nah, not that many, man. But like every now and then somebody will be like, oh, I can't believe you'll buy stuff. And they can't believe it. But well, they think it's icky sometimes. Right. They're like, oh, it's kind of, you're just sifting through junk and you're, you're basically just flipping it and then to someone that, but you're really not. You're flipping. Well, you're you're coming through really good stuff. Yeah. And then you 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 have a mind and you go, okay, uh, what's bad and what's good, and that's what I teach you on my channel. You know what to buy, what to sell, um, and we have crazy amounts of support. Yeah, and you can I just do. find him on YouTube. You search Bonafide Hustler Chris, and just look for his channel on there, and he basically teaches you everything you need to know. And if you want to buy his book, 
Just go to themensview.com slash flip, and it's 25% off, I 25% think? off to get the game started. It won't tell you exactly what to buy or sell, but it'll definitely get your mind ready for the journey because the journey is very important to get your head straight first because when your head wasn't straight first, you were fucking up your hustles. Right. Remember that? I still have a box. I, I went through it saying. today. My daughter was running through this box in the garage all excited about junk, and I'm like, those are my crushed dreams right there of being a hustler. Yeah. So <laughs> they're, they're, if you do it right, you will get rewarded quicker. Right. So Dizzle saw my videos and stuff, but he got really pumped up about it, and that's what my videos do, and then you went out, but you bought the wrong things. Right. But – when you read, uh, no, actually, when you were for, when you're in part of my other room, the the paid room that I, the uh, green room, then when you paid to get in there, yeah, um, that's when your hustle started changing pretty right. quickly. Yeah, and 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 what he's talking about, Bonafide also runs what's called the green room, and when you're in the green room, that's when you get, because he can't he can't tell you exactly what to buy in a book because it's always changing, right, and he can't tell you prices on a book because, you might buy a book and then a year from now the prices are completely different but in the green room that's where you get in there and everybody's sharing prices what they're finding what to be on the lookout for they might tell you hey go right now to target they have this item on clearance for two dollars you can just throw it on amazon for 80 bucks right like i got this uh little steel book you were telling me about that i saw on, uh, you weren't telling me it was in the green room right the the plan the apes or sorry not plan the apes the uh, gardens of the galaxy steel book did you get one of those I wish I did. Oh, you, had, went, you got the other one. Line, you got the other out. one. Yeah, I got the but Superman. Still, steel one. books are pretty decent. Stuff. Yeah, so this was like nineteen bucks at Best Buy, going for like a hundred bucks on eBay. Right. And you could have just bought like twenty, thirty of them. You know, made a ton of money in one day. He'll teach you all that. The green room will give you exact things. But we're gonna take a break, and we'll be right back with the new. What's up, guys? Dizzle here, and I'm hiking here out in Austin, Texas, and I just want to show you my new boots. Check them out. $225 A Solo boots. That's right. That sounds expensive, but Bonafide helped me get them for $40. You're not going to believe where I got them, but I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to go to themensview.com slash flip. Bonafide's got his book in there. Basically teaches you how to flip stuff on the internet uh, and buy things. Where do you source these items? He's going to teach you all of that, but the basis of it is his book, Flip That Shit. Bonafide's written it just for guys like you who want to know how to make extra money uh, or are looking to change careers or have the freedom and flexibility in your job that Bonafide does. So just go to themensview.com slash flip and check it out. Look at me, I'm hiking here in this beautiful place. But Bonafide, he comes here every day because he's got that kind of schedule where he makes his own hours and does whatever he wants to. And you can too. It just takes a little bit of knowledge and a lot of hard work and some practice. And you can get the basis at themensview.com slash flip. His book is 25% off right now, so check it out. Also, we need your help blowing up. We need you to go to iTunes and subscribe and like and review our show. It's very important that you review us because this is a grassroots effort. We're not a big company. We're just a couple guys out here. And uh, the only way we're going to get found out is if people tell their friends and review us on iTunes. It only takes a few seconds, especially if you got a, an iPhone or an iPad. All you got to do is click on iTunes, search us out, the men's view, and uh, hit review. <laughs> Type a couple of nice lines about us and that's it. Also help support the show financially. If you're buying something on Amazon already, or if you're not, you need to, because you'll save a lot of money. Just go to themensview.com slash Amazon. And uh, just search for whatever you're already buying and buy it through that link. It doesn't cost you any extra and we get a small cut, okay? And I'm going to give you guys a free gift here before I leave. We go back to the show. Check it out. See this beautiful surrounding I'm on? You can see it on our YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We need subs. Whew, I'm out of breath talking here and uh, hiking. But anyways, isn't that pretty? You can do it too, themensview.com slash flip. Buy Bonafide's book, 25% off right now. All right, guys, we're back, and Wu here says we need to hurry up with the news because he's got to get to bed. Yeah. He's got shit to do. He's got shit to do, shit man. To do what time you got to wake up in the morning? Like 6.45. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, geez. Cutting well, fish better... that early? Uh, no, I'm cutting veggies and Really? 6.45 a.m.? I got to fry shit in the morning, yeah. What time is that Tempura restaurant stuff? open? 
Uh, yeah, fry like yuca chips and stuff. That early? That early. Yeah, because we got to be ready before service starts. Which is 11. Which is, no, service starts at 5. So we got we got eight hours. In the evening. Seven. We go from 7.30 to 3.30. Wait, wait, wait. It's called prep. What the it's fuck? Prep, yeah. I'm missing something. What time do you go into work tomorrow? I have to be there at 7.30. In the morning? Yeah. And then what time is the people start coming into the restaurant? Uh, five o'clock. In the evening? In the evening, yeah. So you're cutting up veggies for that long? And it's not just veggies because we're making sauces, oh, we're frying yuca okay. chips. We're so when the restaurant we're getting, starts, though, you're, you're out of there. We're out of there, yeah. So we, oh, we prepare cool. everything so the people that are actually on the stations on the hotline just toss shit together. Oh. Uh, so, so you're, you're doing you're, the right You're the cuts manual and labor, basically. Yeah. Manual labor. So they trust you to have the perfect cuts and like and make it look all badass and it's ready to go. No, right? yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. he's the no. guy that's just chopping up tomatoes and putting them in a bowl. That but not the, just that, other things too, right? No, they gotta be they gotta be good cuts, man. See, they okay. gotta be. Our knives have to be sharp and shit. So you cut for eight hours a day or something like that? No, no, it's not just cutting. It's frying. It's making sauces. It's like slicing up veggies. It's so that's all it's fresh. Ma- yeah. When the person gets there, it ain't some bullshit vegetable. This is like yeah. it's not some Oriida fucking crinkle, <laughs> crinkle potatoes. It's a high-end yeah. restaurant. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to All the right. news. He's got to get to bed here. Uh, IBM is about to have one of the biggest layoffs in the history of the world. Uh, 430,000 people. That's a small country. Uh, they're going to get laid off over there at IBM. Uh, oh man, gosh. remember when IBM was just like one of the biggest, greatest companies out like there? Fucking titan, so how many? Yeah. 430K? They think... Uh, Minimum 110,000 jobs will disappear, uh, but they're thinking around 430,000. They're about to announce that. So, Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they say a lot of it has to do with just automation and, and restructuring. But they, they say in the coming future, humans are going to do less and less work to where society is going to have to figure out, do we want to go the route of, Everybody works less and has more free time to pursue their passions because that's what humans like to do. Right. Or are we just going to say, eh, well, you don't have a job now. Go starve, you know? That's where the crazies come out. So that's that's what society's got to figure out. Ugh. And Bill, yeah, because robots are just taking over. Like uh, the guy from Tesla, yeah. um, forget his name, Musk. Elon Musk, yeah. He donated $10 million last week to an organization that – is there just to make sure that um, artificial artificial intelligence is kept in check? They don't turn around and just start murdering us, you know? Yeah. Because we're guys that just not as smart as them anymore, not as powerful, yeah. and we're just consuming resources, right? If you have a pretty big corporation with a lot of money and they have the AI built into some fucking crazy little robot dudes, yeah, and they're like, all right, just start start wiping out parts of the city, right? Gentrification, right? Without like sending the police in there, you never you never know. Just to, so they can clear the land, put a bigger building up, and build more robots, you know? Because if a robot can figure out some really smart stuff, right. they'll build upon that knowledge almost immediately. Right, right, right. And yeah. then they can act upon what they've just figured out immediately oh. and go create some machine and then immediately decide, because they're thinking in nanoseconds, right? Yeah. So from the time when they decide what they want to do to put that plan into action, right. it's probably like a day. Yeah. They'll like swarm like 50 other robots in another right. location this is like a sci-fi fantasy to now. build stuff and then next thing you know army robots are just gunning us down yeah, there you go okay well you, you're, premise, you're joking uh, about it and you don't believe it right but well, the smartest minds honestly, in the whole right world now. today bill gates came out and said i can't believe people aren't as worried about this as i am it is this is be a worrisome serious because problem. We, there, there's the you know dialogue of whether or not you know what what sens- the definition of sentience is, and like if you can actually create a perfect worker without giving them some kind of free will of their own, like will they be able to be as effective if they aren't capable of making their own decisions? But right. I think you missed the point. I think that the higher ups will always be humans. The ones that's the, that's what Bill Gates is saying. Like that the higher ups, the, the high, I'm talking like fucking like go back to Napoleon days where they're taking over countries and continents. Like it's gonna be like that. The people with the most money, it'll still be a human being there, you know, with a map Pushing and a little stick going. We invade here, you know, and then, then like the whole army goes but right, which thinking, is basically the robots. They're thinking that is the final step before when like it's all robots. It's all robots taking over, and they're like, 
we don't need these humans anymore. I'm telling you, man. Think about Ferguson, right? If you had like 10 amazing fucking RoboCop robots that could see where a bottle came from and was thrown by and they calculate all that, and then they go to the perpetrator, and they bring him to jail, right? They just go to the, perf- the perfect person. Right. And it's just it's like pre-crime. They still, yeah, and they still let everyone else protest the right way, but they take out all that shit. Then none of those stores burnt down. Then there's none of the fires anymore. Everyone's just getting the right to speak. I mean, it can control things like that. That's what they will build, be built for. Some of those things will be built for that. Yeah. For riot control, for shit. That's crazy stuff. The last thing you want is um, uh, human beings doing an uprising that's the biggest fear in america is an uprising a civil war uprising oh, you know oh, like an egypt I almost, kind of thing. I almost put that article Syria, in there yeah the billionaires out there right now like hedge fund managers yeah. like ceos they're all starting to worry about because income equality is becoming so bad absolutely and this last generation of kids and i don't know woo, woo, you're you're closer to that generation than us but like apparently they're not able to get anywhere they're very highly educated can't find jobs or they get laid off and now they haven't worked for years and these are like very technically educated smart people so yeah they're getting more and more frustrated and and this as the wealth and power gets more like concentrated at the very very top right these guys are freaking out now they're buying islands and putting they're it's installing true. like it's bunkers true. and yep. putting like their um helicopter pads and all sorts of stuff far out with farms and all sorts of stuff that's what okay. these guys are investing in now because yeah. if you look at it the stock market's yeah. at an all-time high rich people don't know where to put their money even mm-hmm. there's yeah. probably a crash coming soon yeah you never know we did have a crash for a little bit oh wait a couple of years i wouldn't say it. yeah a couple of years ago. but if like a great time for people depression to get style crash happens now oh yeah you're gonna be like god i wish i that's the first thing in your mind you're like i wish i had a boat or i wish i had an island well, this this country, like, we think we're kind of, like, not savages, right? Like, we look at these other countries. No, we're savages. But we, we're, we're the guys with the most guns. And if shit goes to all hell... Oh, yeah. This country's going to have, <laughs> like, social media, all sorts of the craziest videos you've ever seen. And the higher-ups won't even be in this country. <laughs> They're going to be like, all right, dude, see ya. Yeah. And I don't want to be around, And we'll man. just be like... Damn it, Dizzle was uh <laughs> was right. Well, fuck this bat this this Warcraft battle is so important. I gotta win this thing right now. Exactly. All right. Next one. Doesn't What's up, man? All right. So this is one I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Who like, doesn't get phased by that shit? Oculus. <laughs> you know Oculus Rift, right? They make that headset. Yeah. That that is they they keep saying they're releasing it. Like VR. they're on version two and three, and now they have all sorts of competition. But what's happening, that's the next step. Like Google Glass completely failed. But the you're gonna see people walking around pretty soon with these headsets on. Fuck no. And they're it'll, way too bulky, dude. They will look like they're glasses. way too bulky now. Yeah, they're gonna look like. But yeah. they'll eventually be like a contact lens. Okay. Yeah. You know, so your whole cornea will be covered, and yeah. you'll be seeing full virtual reality because instead of like being a see-through contact, it will be completely imprinting an image on your eye. Okay. But even the next generation, they say it'll be like 4K quality video mm. to where it'll look pretty real. But what, what these movie studios are already doing, and I'm glad this company hopped on Pixar, Yeah, they're working with Oculus Story Studios, what it's called. But basically, movies coming out will be full virtual reality. Like uh, you, walk, you turn your head and you see everything. Right. So right. instead of being an actual movie... It'll wait till you turn your head, and the moment you turn your head, like the person will pop up, like a. It'll be a story, but until you do certain movements or look a certain way, yeah. or even if you look a certain way, that actor will spawn where you looked. That's uh, that's interesting, dude. But yeah. I, I still think people are so lazy that they still want things to be spoon fed to them. They don't want to move their heads. No, huh? no, not at all. Like because right. movies right now, think of how convenient that is. That's a <laughs> leisure activity, right? People go out to go watch movies because they don't want to do anything else. This is such an awful future, <laughs> right? I'm just, I'm just You're going to be like this stick figure with his glasses. You're like, oh, <laughs> just looking around. Just saying, That's going to be you, dude. I, I mean, 50 I don't years, bro. You're going to have I wouldn't put it past myself. Oculus. I wouldn't put it past myself, but I'm just saying that the, the idea a of a... Uh, yeah, flashlight attacks, <laughs> fucking Mountain Dew into my veins. Oh, dude. This like kid's going to be... Oculus porn. Oculus oh. porn. I'll just, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's what we're striving for, right? That's what I'm striving for. No, but for. you're saying, like, I, I like your concept. People are so lazy mm-hmm. 
they don't even want to do this Oculus Rift thing because you got to I mean, move it'll your be, neck. It'll be novel. It'll be novel and it'll be cool. And maybe there might be a fringe group. But I'm saying as a whole, people are going to be drawn to the easiest thing. Yeah, that's I like can see that. That's you like the person that says, oh, we have, there's this thing called the internet. Oh, Burt Kreischer, for example, mm-hmm. like this comedian guy. He was like, he made fun of the internet when it first came out. I was like, that shit will never take off. Like, but it's that's hilarious. I mean, that's just my now opinion. Now you grew up and you, you, you don't even know what life without the internet is. Right, right. And I know what life without well, internet is. Well, yeah, I didn't I have do. the internet even like back in the 90s. I didn't have it. I, I, yeah. I think I first got internet in like America 2000. America Online, that was my first. Yeah, we remember the fucking modem sounds and all that. Just yeah, to, no, and It was always about too. like stupid games and porn. Yeah. That was all it was about. We went through oh, hard porn times. Porn when we try to beat off, when we live with our parents, yeah. we'd have to do a modem sound to log on. Yeah. So in the middle yeah. of the night, yeah, you'd yeah, hear yeah, the yeah. shrieking in my house. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they have that on, uh, or what is it? Talking the mic. I've got mail. You've, You've got, got mail. mail. You've got, got mail. mail. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was You've like a mail. siren, <laughs> like alerting your parents that Dizzle's about to beat off here. That's why you put a towel on it. You're supposed to put a towel there. Oh yeah, that's what right. I would do. Mine was so loud it had. I, I shit you not. This modem it plugged into the PCI port. Yeah. And it had a speaker. It wasn't even a PCI port. It had a then. speaker that hung out. It was like a four yeah, it was four like a, X like yeah, AA it was some or weird modem. And it was like I was all fucking bragging about it because it was fourteen point four K. It was AGP, I think. Fourteen point four. And I was the first motherfucker oh, on the block <laughs> to get fifty six K, dude. Oh really? Oh dude, I was Skype uh sniping people and Quake and all sorts of shit. Nobody could compete with me. Cause I would they were all lagging. That's beautiful, man. <laughs> That's, That's why you had no game you. when you talk, when you sack that fucking grocery shit. Oh, <laughs> like, talk to me about Quake. I'll fucking own you. Oh, That's man. all you had, man. You're what like, if she was in the Quake though, man? What if back in the day no, there were no girls on Quake? I, I couldn't even. Had to be, dude. Had to back, be. Duke he, Nukem Kristen, didn't have chicks. Kristen, Wolfenstein, no chicks. No, with Duke Nukem, you could uh, pay strippers to strip. Oh, yeah, there were chicks in there. Ba- back when uh, I played Quake, you could make these your own avatars for people. <laughs> And I and people would have clans, right? Yeah. So they'd never let me into clans because I just wasn't good enough. Yeah. But I, I there were certain there's this one server, right? Or if you found certain servers, they would let you exit the level. Like certain certain levels, like certain servers you couldn't exit to the next level. But I found one, a few that would. Yeah. So I, I made a uh, dot exit clan and I was the only guy in it. <laughs> it was called Liberace dot exit. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And then dude. I took my, I, 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 I drew my own like uh, avatar because you could draw it, and it was a guy butt naked from the waist <laughs> down with like a big bush and his penis hanging on the side of his leg. What? But he was wearing a, a wife beater that said YMCA. Really? Yeah. That's pretty genius, <laughs> well, that's, man. That's art, dude. So I drew that, yeah. and then I changed the gun into like a giant penis. What the fuck? And I would just run around it's the like map. A, uh, phallic fixation right. back as a child. So, huh? like, when you played, it was hilarious because you'd see this naked guy in, like, a YMCA wife beater running, and he would. R- I would just run to the exits to exit to make it go to the next level. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I got so good at it, it was like the, the game would start, three, four seconds later, it'd go to the next level to where it was fun as hell because then all the other players would team up and try to just, they'd all run to the exits to try to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had this naked guy running and you couldn't stop me, man. I was good. Nice. No, do you think you could draw that avatar once again? Yeah, Cause I it. think you could, you, I think you could sell <laughs> a piece like that. I found it at some point somewhere in the cloud you, at one time on my dad's yeah. computer. I need to see if I can oh, ever wow. can you print it. It was on some kind of three and a half inch floppy. Go, go to Kinko's, print that out, go like to oh an art God. gallery and I sell w- that. Man. I wish. Put on a shirt. That, 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 yes, dude. I'd I wish I had that shirt. I'd wear that hey, shirt. by the way, I want to ask our audience here before we get our next news story. We're thinking about putting out shirts here. So, we're wondering. It's unprecedented. <laughs> Nobody does this. Guys. Yeah, because I'm th- <laughs> I'm thinking it, it for it to be worth it. I need to have at least thirty fans or so purchase a shirt because I got to print them out and they're expensive and I don't want to be stuck with like five hundred dollars worth of shirts that nobody wants. So we're thinking about making them about twenty five dollars plus like three dollars shipping. But let us know what you'd be willing to pay for a shirt if you'd be willing to pay about twenty five bucks and. Let us know if you want one. If you do, we're going to make a Men's View shirt here and uh, sell it. And if you want a sticker, just email us at hdizzle at themensview.com and we'll mail you out a bumper sticker. And email us at, or sorry, 
add us on Facebook. Just search for the uh, the Men's View and at H Dizzle on Twitter. What if someone pays us? Because I've I've had this question on my book. If someone's like, I'll pay you more. Will you sign the book? We will sign the shirts. So we'll pay how much? Like that's what they decide. Two prices, guys, on YouTube. If you for were, the first thirty people, oh shoot, that get the shirt, we're gonna ruin it and sign it for. We're them. gonna sign it and ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ruin the fucking shirt for you. No, because if we blow up, they got a shirt yeah, signed true. by us before we were blown that up. That they could never wear because it's all Give fucking. Shirt and sign the sticker. Who the fuck wants a signed sticker? No, because when they put the <laughs> sticker on the car, it's going <laughs> to. Then you have two halves yeah, that just dude. sitting there with like autographs. It's a good idea, CMFK. I think, I think that was a good idea. All right, so back to the news because Wu's got to sleep. He's got to be up. We need Early. a we need a pixelated avatar of you with this flashlight when you round the corner. We're gonna draw that out and put it in quick. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, viewer, uh, I totally like to talk to you about this about the uh, flashlight transaction. Yeah, uh, no, no we'll talk see. anymore. You already agreed to do. No, it. no, no. I know, I know. But like, <laughs> we just need a decision <laughs> from you. What? Yes. What flashlight? Let me know what get. you want. Send That's it to it. me by tomorrow, and I'll email up to mail. Oh, okay. redo the deal. All right. So if you thought like, have you, have you ever seen these like KFC? They they try to get attention by f- thinking what is the nastiest, like most hideous meal they can come up with. Where's the picture of this thing? Because they're they're not they're not. Uh, do you have it up on the screen? So this is it. It's called the Double Down Dog. <laughs> they've come out with, mm, mm, and yeah. it's not just the most hideous. Like, like look oh. at the. They have a picture, and you can see it on our YouTube channel. It it looks all right when when you see it in the picture. It's still disgusting. It's basically Ask this guy. Maybe he would like it. Policana, would you eat that? No. He has to think about it. <laughs> I, I don't what, look, what is look in at Paula Connor. Dude, I would eat that. What is in that? Weird. Describe the picture. But here's what it really it? so it's instead of having a bun on the hot dog, it's, it's shit down, dude. It's like a breaded piece okay. of of chicken breast or whatever KFC calls chicken. And they fold it over like one of these really cheap hot dogs. And they just squirt some kind of oh. I love how they call it cheese, but it's some neon it's toxic cheese. yellow. Mess. Here, oh. here's what it actually looks like in person. Oh my gosh! Oh, here's here's what the actual one looks like. No, nothing oh, like the picture. Oh, shut up, that dude! Doesn't look good at all. Are you serious? I would still eat that though. <gasps> I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Palaconda. Palaconda would eat that. I'm looking at Palaconda. He's eating worse. That looks like maybe that, the, that looks like the aftermath of the flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> like once you're oh, done with it, oh that actually God. looks like one of the pictures I've seen in his phone. <laughs> The one just add some like mush down <laughs> hair on that on that you, mustard or whatever you it know is. What you need to do is you need to save this, put it on your own Facebook, and just see, just be proud of it. Just be like, this thing's amazing. This I love Austin local now. food. Just put like, I love Austin <laughs> local food. Like this thing is the best. This is how I live. Just see what people say. <laughs> Don't laugh. I this th- is, this I, is what my life is. I probably try it, but I, I probably oh wouldn't like it. God. Oh. Look at that. Look, that looks look okay. around the hot dog. See that area where you see the fake? <laughs> like it's fake. Actual All hot meat? dogs are fake, dude. No, but like they, uh. they have that imprint to look like they squeezed the tube. Oh, but it's not, right? No, it's just this one's just stamped, and then they put these things on the edges to look like it's like Shut the old school up. hot dogs. I like, thought it really was. No? No. Oh. So that's like pressed chicken. Yeah. Gross. No, have you seen how they make hot dogs? I've they seen they, how they still make shoot them. them in the tubes. I don't think that I think Dizzle was like if you ever seen shaped chicken that looks like chicken breast you ever yeah, seen that yeah, where yeah, they yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they had the fake grill marks oh because well, sausages you know they're obviously like their intestines right but hot dogs are also some kind of sleeve it's it's but really fucking gross but that one's not it, it yeah. was just like no that's a how compressed they make them, meat though. and then stamped to look like it was is in that, a sleeve is that what, okay. yeah I've seen hot dogs being made like cheap ass hot dogs. And they're in a sleeve? And they're in a sleeve, oh. yeah. They're shot mm. into a sleeve. It's the pink slime shot into the sleeve. Oh, okay. Well, maybe maybe that is. It didn't look like it. It doesn't sound very good. So here's, here's some, some science news. There's I'm pretty excited about this. There's a new kind of router coming out, and they're saying batteries that are going to be out very soon. This first one's going to be out in two, 2015. Pretty soon, all phones and laptops and headphones and all sorts of stuff will have these in there. But it's a wireless charger. You just mount it in your room. And you can charge up to 12 devices from almost uh, 15 feet away. So depending how close you are. So if you're 15 feet away, it might do like one watt an hour or whatever. 
And, uh, if you're closer, it does more. Right. Like, it'll do up to five, which is um, what the iPhone chargers are. It uses iPad a magnetic charger. field to power up your device oh, from man. afar. So, basically, you're getting, not irradiated, like, when you walk around, you're just getting shit shot through your body. That's what I'm yeah, wondering. Yeah, right? Like, well, it, it says right here, the, uh, it, huh. it beams power at the 5.7 and 5.8 gigahertz range. <laughs> Uh, it's I still that's don't crazy. But that's amazing. Nice. So basically, the whole concept is it's not going to be a really fast charge, yeah. But like it's going to be smart charge. So if you're walking around the house and you're not, you suddenly put your thing down and he knows you're not using it, right? It'll start charging it. So then you pick. So basically, you won't even have to think about power anymore. How much will uh, always be there? How much power is getting wasted through these uh, types of energy transfers? I don't know. I assume it's pretty uh, efficient. Energy you are think you transferring efficient? when you actually just hook up a what cord am I, a fucking to the scientist? fucking wall? Right, no, but there's a lot lost through heat too, right? This is the guy that chops fucking fishes <laughs> to, <laughs> asking about. He's interested. Look, interested. We have genuine interest now. Okay, I thought he, I thought he was uh, wanting to break this down. Are you going to buy this? Probably not. No. Why? Because it's, it's probably, easy to just probably hook up expensive. Right? Yeah, it's also easy to hook up something. There's okay. gonna be I, like this. I don't think is very accessible for people right now. Okay. What middle paragraph? Okay. That during the entirety of the demo I sat through, I did not once see a phone's battery level rise. <laughs> the phones did all display that they were being charged. However, so it appears that something was happening. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Maybe in a couple more years. What you need is a. Uh, a flashlight with one of these batteries in there yeah. and you just Const- leave it attached constantly <laughs> <laughs> and it never runs out of juice you just hit a button uh, flashlights are still analog dude you uh you power them through your hand and wrist motions yeah so someone no batteries needs, someone needs to do the, the research for the earliest earliest sex toy like yeah, just to see manual. it's not automatic. what the earliest one was it's just a hole in a cave <laughs> Paula Kondo was using Woo, Will you do homework rocks. for us? Will you do some homework for us? Rocks will, bush. Bush. will you figure <laughs> out what the earliest like documented sex toy was? Oh, shit. No, I mean, they have dildos from a really long time ago. That doesn't help us. I'm not trying to... We're trying to find BC. Like, what the fuck? Like, is it yeah, yeah, they're attached just like to the Sphinx in Egypt? Or, or what is it? Or, or like, uh, or wooden dildos. How do you like, know so much already? I mean, I, I remember reading an article about it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Uh, yeah, that shit. There's like you're sensational. Of, you're full of shit, no, dude. No, there's sensationalist <laughs> oh, fucking like clickbait, like uh, Buzzfeed what? articles and shit on that. Bonafide. Should we? Should we? Next time we're going out somewhere cool, should we invite them? What do you think? You probably shouldn't. If it has, if it sounds, if it's, if it's called Container Bar, apparently that's the worst bar ever. There's, a, was, there's way cooler bars on Rainy Street. Yeah. So have you guys okay, ever been to the Black? If bar? he turns, how many times does he have to turn us down before we're like, we're not gonna even call this guy anymore? So as long as he's part of the show, we keep calling. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's no, pr- if you want to be present on the next episode, you have to come to a bar with us. Yeah. Hey, but uh, you got to show up sometimes, dude. Yeah. Okay. That's you can't. Fine. Okay. You That's can't. Fine. You have to have a legit excuse. If you, you can't just say Warcraft. I, what I and don't you play be, Warcraft anymore. Why the fuck okay, was what do Warcraft you do? the excuse then? Because what I, do you do? He didn't say that. <laughs> you did. He did you say that. Put, I, I can <laughs> look up. I that. can look up the text no, message I call, right now. It wasn't I'm gonna a text. look it up. No, it wasn't a call. It was a phone call. Was it a call? No, yes, it was a call because I was right next it to you. It was a phone call. That's right. You go, no, no, dude. I don't remember Warcraft. I turned to Bonafide, and the first thing I said is. This fucking guy told me he's done with Warcraft. I didn't. I don't think I was playing yeah. Warcraft, dude. You, and then, and that was. Uh, I think I'm gonna stay home, man. I'm. I want to play Warcraft. I was that playing was, another game. I think that was probably it. Was Warcraft? No, nah, it was bro. probably another. It was game. Warcraft because mostly I, I was like game. the first thing I said to Bonafide was this guy told you me he's me, done yeah. with. No, I was standing next to you. It, it, War- it couldn't anyway. have been Warcraft because I saw that a month ago. No, you didn't. I did. I shit. straight up did. It's full of shit. I can show you the t- the day I stopped subscribing, and it was last month. So what do you? D- what have you filled that time with now? The hours uh, and hours and hours that you would spend, like your entire been, uh, waking hours outside of work, was Warcraft. I've you don't playing, do it anymore. So yeah. you just replaced it with another game. With <laughs> yeah, but this one's a little more interactive. This is uh, Dungeons. But and Dragons. But you're still not getting your <laughs> life like your non-work life. And it's all one. It's a fucking game, man. It's, it's like game. you're you're it's out of escape. the real world at this point. Exactly. There's no my real reality. world is half my day, and then the other half he has an is, Oculus uh, that actually isn't really there yet. But it's like he is in the Oculus. You're you, in the Matrix, bro. You basically yeah. are. But like you're living a fake life. That's online. fine. Honestly, like I have the real world. I come home, fucking. I have time to relax. Time to use my leisure. My idea of a good time is not going out to bars. 
There's just no, way too no, many I people. I don't I like pushing that. through crowds. That I get. I don't okay. drink. I think what he's saying is, look, guys, like I want, I like to have fun, but let's do something I want to do. No, that's not like I'll, I will go out. If y'all want to come play video games, at my but place. if it, if it's on a day <laughs> that I have off, like the next day, I don't have to wake up at six a.m. Yeah. Uh, I will. I'll go next time. What would be, I promise what you. What would be oh, something man. cool that, that you, me and Bonafide can? We can go to a bar. Do. I don't care. Video games? No, we can no, go to a bar. No, seriously. Like if you, I'll I don't play wanna video play, games with you. I don't want to play video games with you. Okay, what about uh, pinballs? Uh, the arcade. Oh, no, I don't like There's pinball. an arcade. Let's go to a bar. Let's go to Rainy Street. Let's go to East Side. Let's go somewhere cool. Okay. Yeah. I want to try to get you a chick. I enjoy... No, I don't want a chick <laughs> because uh, I can find a chick by myself. It's a, if I wanted a chick, I can Clearly. get Clearly. Yeah. That's <laughs> working <laughs> for you. You don't have to... Clearly. All right. Well, all I'm saying is I'm going to get a flashlight. This is going to be great. <laughs> Which flashlight is that? Hold on. CM, producer CMFK has found a ultimate perfect flashlight for Wu. This Let's looks see. like it's expensive, though. I don't think I'll be oh, able to Oh, it's a mount. Oh, it's yeah. a mount. I don't know if the listener That's will hilarious. You can mount. fuck an iPad. That's hilarious. Holy this Christ. The, the flashlight ice? I don't want to see my own dick, though. Oh, you can see. Yeah, that's You like, know, that's you perfect for the show. I want to get a porn star. That's perfect for the show because it's a translucent flashlight, so you, you kind of can see. So we can oh. film it, and I won't even have to blur it out. Okay, I don't. It's already do blurred. Yeah, can, maybe on YouTube too. they're gonna be like, "Look, we can't air this thing." So That's if it is true. blurred, yeah, I have out. to blur it out. All right, hey okay. man, I agreed to put a flashlight on my dick, and I will take a picture of a flashlight on my dick. But that's no, you're it. Gonna, I'm not gonna, you're gonna walk out. I'm gonna walk out. I'll stand yeah. right here. Okay. I'll stand right here with and a flashlight on my dick. I'll have a flashlight in my hand. Paul sure. Connor cool. can okay. Paul right. Connor can fucking <laughs> inspect it. Can Paul Connor move it for a second? No, no. Yeah, no, we please. want to make sure it's no, you're no, actually no, 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 securely no, no. attached. Jesus, to no. That, that's like the equivalent of him jerking me off. Man. I'm uncomfortable. But with he's that. only touching the flashlight. No, it's not no, the actual no, no, penis. No, it's too close, dude. Wait, we don't even know what, what Paul Connor be wanting to do. We attach a dowel rod to the flashlight. God damn it! <laughs> Paul Connor's far away. That's from still it. his motion, dude. His motion on my cock. All right. I don't Can he tickle it with a feather? No. No. I'll get a uh, hot shot and stick it up his ass like we do the Okay, bulls. now this is just Can he like, castrate yeah, you? Can he rip your nuts can off he, like he a... Can, like, he he can love like you me. never saw. He can castrate me and brand me, but he can't touch my cock. All right. Paul Akana, how long do you think... I know you enjoy like pulling the the nuts off of... What are they, sheep? You actually enjoy that, you said earlier. Calves. Right? Calves. Oh, oh, God how long damn. do you think it would take you to, 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 to pull the nuts off a of woo? Oh, God damn it. Let's see... I, if I had to hold him down, I gotta do it all myself. Yeah, you think you'd be able to overpower him and, and do and, that? Wait, and oh, I yeah, have to. I I'm like resisting it and everything. You can. Well, I get my rope. I rope him. I tie him up <laughs> real quick. This is and fucking then I would. Uh, I get my knife out. And <laughs> by the time I get my knife out, I can have him off in about ten seconds. <laughs> Even with me like thrashing and like screaming at you, what the fuck, dude? That's stop, what, dude. please. I he can, does I it to bulls, right? You don't hold, have to do this. I can man, hold a cow please. down by myself. You do bulls, right? Yeah. If he can hold a well, I can three thousand dollar, I mean three thousand pound bull. Three thousand. How much do bulls weigh? Like two tons? Oh uh, well, I probably wouldn't do a bull. I'd do. Well, there would be a trick for a bull because they, they have so much weight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Bulls are with, yeah. But I can throw a full-grown cow down by myself. How much is a full-grown cow down <laughs> weight? Oh, about 800 pounds. Woo, he would tear you up, man. Those How do you take a cow be... down like that? Do you just like this, ram into uh... it? Like, what do you do? <laughs> well, I don't like the direction. There, there's this, uh... I trip him. There's a technique with a rope called the running W. It's a Texas A&M thing. They, I learned through a veterinarian. You put this on, on a cow. And run it through, you pull it and on pressure points, and the cow will fall down. Cow falls down, you got them down. You you can then go jump on their head <laughs> <laughs> and hold them down. And I've done that. So, but you're jumping on his head. You're jumping on the cow's head, holding it down. But then you have to reach halfway across its body. I mean, all the way across its body to chop some nuts off. Right? It's kicking well, the whole time, right? Cow, oh no, you're yeah. tied up. Its legs are tied. Yeah, I can. I got calf rope. I can get out and tie their legs up too. Yeah, yeah. right. And put them wherever I want to. So we wouldn't be a challenge at all. No, you could rip his nuts clean off. <laughs> I don't. I don't like this Easy. conversation. This is a uh, right, dangerous. So, this is, could this you is, demonstrate this one day, but not actually take his nuts off? Don't like, take my nuts off. I like my nuts. Get to the very edge of before the nuts are gone. Don't do it, man. And then release and be like, Yeah, I got like, you, man. Like if we corner him for you. <laughs> 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 you motherfuckers! 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Will you just show us what you what you would do in like as long as it's not traumatic, we want to keep you, but like Oh, <laughs> I think want, I think we want to see you fall I over. After this fleshlight thing, you guys are just pushing the envelope now. <laughs> That's the whole point, pushing man. The envelope. Okay. Just, just, Next time, I'll have to bring my ropes in. Okay. Hey, no, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't it. mind being tied up. All right. I'd like, like. I'd like to see what that's like. What would it be like if Paul Connor was about to chop off my nuts? That would be. That'd be a great segment. Interesting. Yeah. Would you do it? I would do that. We'll, just, we'll go out to the yard and, yeah. and videotape it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. We have to corner you. You have to try to actually get out of there. I don't want to hurt you guys, though. No, but you, like, yeah, Paul whatever. Connor can take you down. We want to actually see you fight to get out of there. Oh, nah, no. Nah. That's we'll the whole put, point. We'll man. put it on YouTube. We don't want. We'll be on our YouTube. How channel. much fun would it be? To what am I? What am I doing? Am Paul, I like poking his eyes? No, he's like, not gonna to actually rip your nuts off. He's no, gonna no. get. To, he's gonna let Wait, sue if you if he's okay. But I'm standing still, right? No, like, you're no, trying yeah. to get away from him. <laughs> so I'm running around this yard. It's gonna be and, just no, like a pen. We'll do it in a in a room. We'll set it up just uh, so these cows. How are they? Are they in an enclosure? Sometimes. Oh my god! I don't want to struggle, man. So, I think like, can... how big an enclosure would be realistic? <laughs> uh, about the size of his, his living room. Okay, so we'll get you in in about the size of the living room, and then Paul Kanda will just have to grab you, and you try I'll to escape him. like a cow. Yeah, he'll rope you, and I got him then. And He's we'll, dead. we'll stand on chairs, and we'll just video the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Anyways, but be gentle, all right? Be gentle. <laughs> We better get out of here. Before we go, don't forget to subscribe to us on iTunes and review us and rate us because that's what keeps us going. If you like the show, if you enjoy it, you know what? We enjoy doing it, but we can only do it so long for free. We got to figure out how to make a living off of this. And if we're doing it full time, trust me, if Dizzle does this seven days a week, 40 hours a week, It'll, it won't even be 40 hours if I'm doing this for a living. It'll be 24-7. You know what I mean? It'll be content. It'll be hilarious, and I'll be able to take more risks. Uh, so help us get successful, and the way you do that is review us and rate us on iTunes. And here's what I, I, I found out another podcast got a number, number one in comedy, and these are not even famous guys. They did it by just going to everybody's phones that they, they, their fans would go to Everybody didn't use phones, their uncles, their moms, their friends, everybody, and just run in there real quick, go to iTunes, find the men's view in there, and write a quick review from their iTunes account. Because they're probably already logged in or get their password, be like, hey, I need, I need to review something real quick. It'll only take five seconds. Go and do that as many times as you can. Because if we can build up those reviews, that'll get us more listeners. Boom. Now we know how to do this for a living, and we can uh, put our full time and effort into this. Uh, also, if you want a T-shirt, let us know. Go to our YouTube page or email us, comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, I'm thinking they'll cost about twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars, uh, plus probably two or three dollars shipping. Uh, but we'd be willing to make those, put them out as a test run, and see if the fans want them. We'll sign them and autograph, and and the first thirty, if we can get thirty people to commit, we will be getting it. We'll ruin them. Yeah, we'll, we'll sign we'll sign everybody's name. <laughs> Ruin your fucking shirt. <laughs> um, also, don't forget Facebook, add us, HDISL on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube and comment on our videos. Um, also, if you want to support the show, Amazon, that's where uh, you, if you want to buy something on Amazon, if you're not buying, you should, just go to the mensview.com slash Amazon, and when you're in the link, just search for whatever you're buying and buy it and it doesn't cost you any extra. It's just like going through Amazon. But because we referred you, they give us a small kickback. And that helps pay the bills out here because we pay for hosting and all sorts of stuff. So, Woo, did you have anything you wanted to plug? Nothing to plug, Dizzle. What about the – you're not gonna you're going to be plugging that flashlight here pretty soon. I will. <laughs> I mean, but you guys have already heard that. Okay. Been two weeks from show. now, he's going to be plugging something. <laughs> Is it two weeks? He's going to plug yeah. it and we'll do it. He has to listen to it. We'll do yeah. it. And then uh, we have to get confirmation. Right. And then it's the one after that. So right. two well, weeks yeah, yeah. Listener, let's, let's get this done ASAP. Yes, uh, listener who does not want to be named. You yeah. know who you are. I will be contacting you by email. Yeah, let's get this over <laughs> with, huh? All right, I check out Bonafide. What's that? No, no, I just think you would want to see my dick. Yeah, he's still, I think trying, I don't he's still trying to fucking back out on it. <laughs> no, I'm not backing out, dude. I'm yeah, doing don't fucking this. fucking back out. What dude. do you think I am? The rules have been established. You're done. I'm man. not backing. I just think Dizzle wants to see my dick. 
I don't even want to edit this. That's no, what I'm I think. seriously. I have because you said as soon as you see someone's dick, you're That's not friends saying. with them anymore. That's I have to go. We're not going to be friends after rules. this, man. I have you to go don't. against my rules. Maybe he can just get like a. We can get a, gl- a piece of glass pane from like a shower door from Home Depot. The and translucent he, one. Yeah, like, but it has like you know you can't see the person through it. Right. But you can see what's going on. Right. And then he can hold it like he can jump out and hold it in front of his shit. <laughs> right. And we'll be like, uh, so when we uh, film it, like we think we kind of know what's going. No, it's already on. edited. Yeah. Like you don't have to right. edit we it. We don't have to edit it. So you won't <laughs> have to actually perfect. look at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure something out. I, all, I'm I'm prepared to not be friends anymore. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Paula Conda, <laughs> do you uh, want to add anything before we go? No, I'll, I guess I'll see y'all in about two weeks. With your lasso. My ropes. Your lasso? Your ropes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Hey, can can my flashlight not be on while he's tying me up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be I, like fully clothed. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you that dignity, right? I'll get my Jesus. chaps. I'll get my chaps out too. Okay. Oh, my gosh. oh God. <laughs> Look for that on our YouTube channel. But all right, we're gonna be out of here. Thanks for listening. Thank you, CMFK, for uh, producing the show. We're out of here at H Dizzle on Twitter. H Dizzle at themensview.com. Thank you, Frankie McDonald, our new weatherman. We're out of here. Peace.